Hello guys and gals, if it's F1, I'm back with here, back with yet another 100% achievement stats trophy guide. Well, I'd say about 90% actually, but I'll explain that in a bit. But in today's video, we are getting the full 1K on Plat for After Party, a game developed and published by Night School Studio, i.e. the guys that bought you the excellent auction free, and for a price, is available for £16.74, but right now, it has come out and is available for you on Xbox Game Pass. And if you don't have Game Pass already, well, why the fudge not? Go get it now if you haven't. That's cool, I'll just wait right here. Anyway, now that you've got that, uh, the gameplay is sort of similar to what Oxen Free was. So you, as Lola and Milo, end up in hell. And it's your job to try and get the hell out of hell by out drinking Satan. As is the norm in most video games these days. Uh, it, it, but it is actually hilarious as it seems. The gameplay is great, the voice acting is fantastic, but, and this is a slight warning, this game has a lot, and I mean a lot, more dialogue to it than actual gameplay explore, gameplay and exploring, etc. And it's obviously now and again quite a slow game, what with the amount of dialogue that goes on between characters, so just keep that in mind. I won't be fast forwarding the video at all through the dialogue, it's just so, you know, you guys can keep up with it all. I know, how very nice of me. But overall, it should only take you around uh, sort of 12 to 15 hours to complete. But again, you will need to do at least two playthroughs as certain choices mean you miss out on the other one. Plus, there are three ending related achievements to get to which would normally require you to play through the game three times. But I have a little trick to ensure you get all those in just one playthrough. Um, I'm pretty sure now that is all the bases covered. There are obviously miscellaneous achievements, but they're not too bad when following this guide. But I'll get into the final two achievements you need in playthrough two a little bit later on. Anyway, with that finally being said then, let us begin. And we start off in a very nice little, uh, uh, sort of after college party. Everyone's done. Um, Milo and Lola are the, well, they've got each other, but they're not very popular with anyone else. So what we'll need to do first is just walk around, talk to a few people, and that will normally progress the story on a bit. But there is one achievement that we will be getting here. Now, there are a bunch of bars throughout the game, which you can obviously uh, get drinks and sip from and um, drinking games, etc., etc. you'll be doing. But this one is just better to get out the way, so just in case you forget it and you don't actually end up getting it in the one playthrough. So you see the bar right there. Um, when you can finally control Milo, as you see there, it'll say A to get a drink. And then you will hold your finger on the right trigger button to basically down it. And you'll be doing this for about 10 minutes. So drink the drink, press A to get another drink, hold RT, A, RT, A, RT, until the achievement finally unlocks. Now, I don't actually know how Milo isn't dead let alone still standing and fully functioning and talking after downing, what was it, um, vodka and lemonade for 10 minutes straight. I can do about five pints or five, five drinks is like a maximum before I get absolutely pissed. So, you know, fair play, fair play to a video game character's liver. That's some strong schnet. They're getting warm. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, fine. I, uh, always take one if he does, and vice versa. Makes it so we can lie to each other about how drunk... Now, as you see, once you drink any drink, even if it's just a sip, you get this sort of blurry, um, drunk effect. Now, this will come in handy in many dialogue options after, because we've got another two achievements to go through throughout the game, which is for intentionally swearing 20 times, and, uh, drinking 20 different drinks in bars. So you see the, uh, the yellow dialogue option up there. If you don't normally have a drink, then that will not appear. So it's definitely worth every bar you go into, just get a drink, have a little sip when you're talking to people, because then usually you'll get a sort of swear word that'll come up, whether it's um, uh, fuck, asshole, dickhead, even damned and hell, I think, counts for that as well. So just bear that in mind. So everybody you go to, just get a little drink. But of course, we'll get into that again a little bit later on. But it's definitely worth remembering those two achievements throughout the throughout the game so every bar we go to we will get a different drink i think there's about four four or five different drinks in each bar and remember 
any dialogue option you see with a swear word in it, just make sure to pick that. It really doesn't have any effect on the um, on the game. Not not really. They'll have a sort of reaction to it, and then it'll just go into normal the sort of normal uh, story mode anyway. So this is what you'll do then. I obviously I'm not obviously going to show you me doing this for 10 minutes straight because that would just be boring and I don't and well I gotta go to work soon so I, I don't know what I'm gonna talk about for 10 minutes straight but anyway as soon as you do this then this is where your first achievement will unlock want a drink they're they're here they haven't moved sure So there we go there, nice and easy, first achievement unlocks, now what you have to do is basically just talk to one group of, well, they're not friends, one group of, one group of people and talk to another group of people and then it, or the story will start unravelling some more. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, there are 23 achievements and in this playthrough alone we will be getting 21 out of 23. We need to do about a half a playthrough more to get the remaining two. Now this is the best way I could find to get most of them in just the one playthrough, so th there's literally no way to do it in one. Talk about a bad second day. Sigma Kappa gave you a nickname, right? Herpaderp? Chunkamunk. Or was it Colonel Shitlips? Well, it was nice catching up. Have a good summer. See ya. That? Okay, I know that could have gone better. Shit lips. I mean, Milo. <laughs> Who cares, man? Seriously, they're just being dickbags. Well, it doesn't feel that way. It feels like I'm a freshly born antelope just learning how to walk. I should know how to make adult friends by now. You just make it so much harder than it has to be. Okay, Sven fucking Ghoulie. You, you go and talk to people and, and, and teach me. Show me the ropes. Let's... I, I want to see how easy it is. Hey, if that's what you want. My trick is just remembering that everybody's born screaming in terror. Whatever it takes. Go forth and show me how it's done. Like, have you ever thought that what you consider your personality is, is just the dream your unconscious body is having? No, totally. And like, what we think of as money? Huh, interesting concept. Did you take Mrs. Vasquez's class on Cartesian dualism, or are you just spitballing? Uh, who are you? I'm Lola. This is... Colonel Shitlips. We know. Oh, come on. I... that was... Lola, was it? Are you a friend of Captain Pukemouth or Townie? Auditing the school? Thinking of transferring here, maybe? So again then, like I said, uh, most of the dialogue options don't really matter in the game. You can be as nasty as you want or as nice as you want. I will pop up um, if there's a point where dialogue options obviously do matter, but for the most part you can really just pick what you want. But of course remember to take a drink, uh, try and get that yellow dialogue option up if you've got a drink when you're in a bar and just go for as many swear words as you possibly can just to get that achievement out of the way. Even remember you and the only reason they remember me is because I pooped out of my mouth once I mean how sad is this we went to the school these are our peers who cares what any of these people think about us we graduated remember we are done with these idiots Lola. college was a non-stop inescapable popularity contest where the winners rule over an imaginary world you think anyone in society is gonna care what they called you in college what's gonna be etched on your metallic space crypt will be what you did in the actual real world and the real world starts right fucking now everyone hairy people your attention please hey, stop the awesome music is someone named Milo and Lola here? Actually, this is... That's probably two separate people. Uh, yeah. What... what is... Milo, Lola, I'm very sorry to tell you this, but both your parents were just run over by a train. What? They were scissored in half, but the wheels are keeping their guts in place. But as soon as they move the train again, their intestines will fall out of their bodies and they'll die. The EMTs are keeping them alive so you have time to be with them in their final moments. What? It's their last request. 
Oh my god, th that's, this is horrible. I'm so happy it's Friday, right? Thank god I don't have to do my cable. Uh, holy... Holy shit! Uh, are, are you... Oh. Oh, uh, do you... Are you... Is... What's happening to you okay? Or... Lola, I... What? Is this a... <laughs> oh, look at them! They, 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 they still think they're alive! They think they're alive! What? I, what is... Okay, what the fuck is going on? You freaks should know that my uncle's a volunteer fireman, so I can get an axe whenever I want. You want to know what's going on? Well, we'll tell you what's going on. Hey, what the hell's going on in here? <laughs> Mr. Matamathus! Assisting in the transition I don't between. Want to hear it. I told you guys to wash the floors with pony blood, not fuck with the newborns. Clean all this shit up. I mean it. And Milo, Lola, you're late. Luckily, there's a processor down the road, and you better double time it if you want to get in before close. Uh, d double, double time it. Now that is actually such a cool way to introduce you to hell. This is how I'd like to be in introduced it when I get to hell. Which, let's face it, I mean, at least 90% of the population is going to hell too, so, you know, it doesn't matter. Ah, this is my kind of hell though, you know, drunk, hilarious demons. Although, now that does actually explain Milo's unkillable liver during 10 minutes of straight vodka and lemonade shots. <laughs> and the rest of you, put all this crap away. Some evil nuns are dying in a bus crash tomorrow. So, I want this place spotless. Hey! Oh my god, Lola, we're dead! We're fucking dead and there's a god! God, and we're dead. Yeah, how did we even die? I, mean, I don't even remember how we got to the party. Was there a party? What do I know? Hey. Hi, hey, how's it going? Yeah, Tuesdays are always slow. The custodians get bored. You know how it is. Right then, so now we will be getting achievement number two right after this, so if you press the, well, I just call it the select button on your controller, um, and that will bring up the map, scroll to the left to find your social, and this is the, this is Hell's version of uh, Twitter, basically, called Bicker. Now you have to stay on here for 20 minutes. Um, you don't have to do anything, just stay on here for 20 minutes. You can read through, because some of them are bloody hilarious, to be fair. And the writing in this game, some of the jokes and, and things like that are absolutely incredible. Absolutely hilarious. I loved it. So have a look through. Uh, even if you don't want to, just, you know, get an episode of something up on your phone. Just make sure to keep the control active and come back in about 20 minutes. And that's where your achievement will unlock. And after that is done then, you can just back out and now we will need to head down a couple of flights of stairs, get the process in, and find out what the hell happened to us. So yeah, like I said earlier then, what's quite interesting about the game is, like I said, there's obviously a lot of dialogue and there'll be a lot of times through the game I, I won't be talking through the dialogue. Obviously, I am at the minute, but, you know, a bit later on. <laughs> um, but, but the main premise of the game is literally... We need to get an invite to get to Satan's party. Um, Satan will tell you to get two monarch seals of approval to outdrink him, and then we go and outdrink him. So the story and the gameplay is really short, but there's a lot of dialogue in it, which is why the game takes a little bit longer. And this is Sam, the um, psycho pomp, or Hell's version of a taxi driver. She will help us along the road quite nicely. Well, sorry to bother you. Have a good one. And I promise I will stop yapping through some of the dialogue options because, as I said, some of it's hilarious and you don't want my voice ruining it. 
There's young Master Beats there as uh, as Modius. Hehe. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll come back later. Yeah, they all say that. Okay. Marcy Sullivan. Marcy Sullivan. Oh, yes. Here. Here. Marcy, how you doing? Mm, not too good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just proceed down to table three, if you please. Thank you very much. Take as much. Take all day to get there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, now. Lola. Lola Wolf. Is there a Lola Wolf here? Uh, present. Ah, oh, you still have your mouth. Great. How about Sang Bong? Is Sang Bong here? Milo, you're up. Sang Bong? Uh, I... My friends usually call me Milo. Uh, a little overeager pluralizing friends there, but okay, sure. This... Okay, this is weird. It says you two are going together. Uh, what does that mean? Proceed on to table two, please. Uh, I'd like to get home before my wife gets the good spot in the garage. All right, moving, moving right along. Table two. Okay, that's... this must be us. You know, it's funny. I... I'm kind of... I feel like I'm sort of adjusting already. Like, I've just... I'm getting some level of emotional control, at least. That... Oh my god, Milo, we're dead. We're fucking dead! And we are in hell! How oh, is this not hitting me before? We are in hell, and we are dead. Oh, Jesus Christ, Milo, I can't believe it. What are we doing here? Why are, what is happening? We are so completely screwed. Hi, guys, I'm Barbados. No relation to the island, which ugh, I hate that I even have to say that now. I'll be doing your personality audit before the processing commences. I have your file here on my phone. Sorry, I'm coming from the gym. Look, we, there has, there's been a mistake. We don't, we don't even know why or how we died, so... Yeah, you know how when you're a kid, you stop remembering your infancy past a certain age? It's because your brain reconfigures itself to make more room. Ditto here. So, when you pierce the mortal veil, only the important stuff stays. Phone numbers, the smell of your mother's hair... But... But I can remember Lola. I can remember my parents, what I wanted to do after school... Then that and ten other things are the stuff you cared about when you were alive. Wait, wait, make more room? For what? We're dead. And how? You're gonna be here for a very long time. Like, for eternity. And a lot of new, mostly painful memories need their baby rooms made up before delivery. Which means the spank bank is getting converted whether you like it or not. Look, I know what this is. I've seen white guys bribe hotel clerks in movies, okay? Just tell us what you want to let us go home. Hmm? Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Ow. Okay, this is novel. I think this is just some sort of evaluation. You can pick what you want here. There are no right or wrong answers. Just more hilarity. Answer the following questions without thinking. Milo, regardless of the truth, have you ever suspected a lover was cheating on you? There are no wrong answers. Uh, actually, it's hard to remember, but I want to say, yeah, I think I have. You think you have? Okay, cool. All right, Lola, which image is closest to representing what was your ideal life? Of these? The, uh, the woman with the family, probably. Uncritical companionship and species propagation. Okay, got it. You guys, can I just say, you're doing really well. Really? <laughs> oh, God. Come the fuck on, man. Okay, you see that head over there? Uh-huh. I, I mean... <laughs> All right, fling that thing up into the hamper like you're George Gervin. Again, doesn't really matter if you miss or uh, score the shot here. Nothing really happens, just a bit of different dialogue. And I suck. Good job, is what I'd be saying if you'd made the shot since that was the test here. I'll just put you down as hands included, but questionable proficiency. Lightning oh. round! 
This is a word association, so just say the first thing that pops into your head. Ring. Uh, phone? Lola, drugs. Yes, please. Milo, crowds. Joy? Milo, I mean, Lola, break. Like, breaking bones? Ho, 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 what could this be, hmm? All the way from the deepest, darkest broom closets of your mind. Lola, what? The reigning pride of your ceaseless sorrow, the sultan of revulsion, the drain on your brain, that pebble in your shoe you just can't get out. I give you your personal demon! How in tarnation are you, man? I'm just so excited to be working with you, with anyone, really. It, it's just, I am so ready for this shit. We're gonna be a team, a real partnership. I want you to know that, oh crap, there's two of you? I, I'm so sorry, little lady, I didn't see you there. But, uh, oh, let me start over, okay? Now I apologize if I offend anyone who has a personality and a voice like this out there, but good God, did this do my tits in through that <laughs> throughout the entire game. Wormholm's personality, and I know she's a personal demon and she tries to get under your skin, but... Christ, after a while, it, it is just... Yeah, yeah, you just want to shove your head through a glass mirror or something Punisher style. What does that mean? Well, it's a comfort inhibitor only you and other demons can see. And it's so during your off hours, there's still somebody to nudge you into traffic sometimes. Off hours? Okay. Well, what, is, uh, what does that mean? Yeah, Dev, no. The fact that you only ate free-range chicken doesn't change anything. Okay, now that you have all been appointed your personal demons, we can now assign you your torture. Your torture will take place during regular office hours by a certified sadist. Exempting holidays and Medusa's birthday, even though I don't know why we bother that. Office hours? Do we- do people get, like, time off? Hey, Norma Ray, it ain't for the people, it's for the demons. You think getting whipped for ten hours is hard? Try swinging the cat of nine tails all the live long day. You'll pray to trade seats. Abigail Cunningham. Yes. Your bones will be broken every day by a ball peen hammer for the sin of repeatedly misusing the express lane in grocery stores. But I always have more than 15 things. Ah! Oh my god, Milo, she's. Dev Sedana and Marcy Sullivan. Uh, no. It's you. I we just did this like two minutes ago. Milo, this is it. Hey, this is we gotta get out of here. Lola, what the hell do you think we can even? Now, for robbing all those liquor stores, Dev will be suspended from a pole by his genitals. What? While children use your head like a tether ball, weather permitting. Marcy, your tits will be consumed by snapping turtles, only for them to regrow larger every day, giving you intense back pain when you jog. But but we we only rob Jewish liquor stores. <laughs> Now, Milo and Lola, for the sin of... For the sin of being too late to get assigned to punishment, you get to wander the city until tomorrow. Have fun, see you later, I'm going to get drunk. Wait, what was our crime? Our, uh, our sin? Our hours are nine to six, guys. Well, that's mad, isn't it? The two main characters get let off. <laughs> How coincidental! Again, it's definitely worth though doing a second playthrough just to go just to see what the other dialogue options are because there's some hilarious ones you do honestly miss out on. So it's definitely worth doing it. So uh, nip to the left just a little bit here, and then if you nip to the right, that is where Sam will appear. Although thinking about it, Sam might actually just turn up if you stay there anyway. But I, at the time, I didn't, I didn't know if you had to go to the left and then go to the right to progress with the story, or if she just turned up. I'm pretty sure she just turns up anyway. So hey, sorry about that. You don't actually need to do that. I don't think. What? Bowlinger. Jimmy? I was looking for him earlier. The guy got another ride. That's all. You could have fucking told me. Huh? The guy got another ride? Are you like his his friend? I'm just fucking with you. Sorry, you're confused. Uh it's I'm I'm being mean. Okay. I'm a psychopomp. Friend of Urshanabi, Tooth of Phlegius, Charon's lost 
dog? Uh-huh. I'm a, I'm a cab driver. A ferryman, to be, uh, specific. Oh, a psychopomp. What would hell need cab drivers for? I don't know how aware you are of the infrastructure here, but I just fell through the floor into a phantasmagorium. Ooh, yeah, no, uh, that, that'll happen. Look, I just clocked in, but I need a fare. You guys look clean enough. You want to roll with me on a chore I got to do? It's at first an Izzard. I got to see about a friend, but I'll introduce you to some people. Huh? I'm Sam, by the way. Sam Hill. Short for Samantha. Short for Silithial Machidial. Milo. Lola. Mr. Milo? Miss Lola? I'm nicer than I look. What do you say? Again, the same feeling I did when that guy in the van tried to sell me a raccoon. I'm choosing to trust this. What the fuck else are you gonna do with your night, right? Come on, my ride's this way. Won't be a long trip. Uh, so, uh... Hell, huh? Yeah, the days have worn away, haven't they? I can tell you cats were new. Dead-eyed and pig-tailed. So I guess I'll hit the questions everyone has. First of all, whatever church you went to, whatever faith, they were a little right and a lot wrong. And if you didn't go to church, you were kind of right, too. Ah, <sighs> here's my little bundle of joy. I should give her a name. Never really had the time, though. Or the desire. Hop on in, but mind the leather. It's perfectly safe, don't worry. Oh, okay. It's, uh, the, the seat's wet. Oh, yeah, that's probably your idea. Okay, everybody in? Great. So, you're dead. You're in hell. It's bewildering, I know. But like moving to a new place or cutting up a body, it's best to just focus on one thing at a time. So, for instance, what the fuck are we driving on right now? This is the River Styx. It's an immaterial, trans-dimensional spirit course that connects all the little islands of hell. And provides fairy women like me a job. Um, islands of hell? Hell isn't just like one big landmass. What you think of hell is what's called the Nine Circles. The, uh, conurbation, where everyone gets tortured during punch -in. But outside the Nine Circles is an infinite chain of islands we call Nowhere. And it's what you're in now. God's coloring book, I guess you could say. Everything comes from the abstract, the abyss, the outer realm where he set his dark materials. It's a long story, longer than we have time for. Right now, at least. But hang tight, we're almost there. Okay, here we are. Watch your step getting off. I know sometimes you kids like to play at the shore, but you fuckers sink fast, so... And I ran out of the house without my flippers today, so... Play at the shore? How young do you think we are? Look, until you turn 200, you should require a car seat. Your brain's basically a litter box a cat died in. So, not that hey, either of you hey, asked, but Sam, this is Sam. first an Izzard. What? Did you... Did you hear the one about the blind guy who walked into a bar? He walked into the table and shares next. <laughs> Get some better material. How? Anyways, like I was saying, this is first an Izzard. There's a lot of cultural stereotypes about these people, and none of them are especially flattering. A lot of sweat and hair. A wet hayride is a euphemism for sex here. First an Izzard? Why is it called first an Izzard? How the hell am I supposed to know? Why is New York called New York? It's named after the Duke of York. Oh, thanks, Brainiac. Why don't you lecture us on what a retort- Hey! Excuse me! We're trying not to get dumbass all over our pants here. Wait, why'd we come here? If it's so dangerous, I mean, these are the types of people you think we should know? We're the only type you can know. If you wanted a different crowd, you probably shouldn't have drowned all these kids. I want you not goddamn times. You'll get your stomach back when you learn to behave. So this is a place we'll need to come back to about two or three times throughout the throughout the game. I think once or twice for a couple of other achievements. Yeah, he's fiddling with his dick somewhere. All the kids with you. Heh, yeah, <laughs> fiddling with his dick. I'm playing tour guide on my coffee break. All right, well, anything happens, I get their hair. Okie smokey, who's drinking? Because I'm buying. Is Fornius like a, a, um, a demon drinking buddy or something? He's a middle manager in the fifth circle. 
Sometimes he makes requests, you know, specific souls for his department. I think some tech startup guy had a heart attack sport hunting homeless people in Portugal, so maybe it's that. So, Here whenever you're ready. A bottle for everyone. Is that crazy? It's fun, right? My balls hadn't dropped yet. How would I think that was funny? Boom. Just drink it. Don't even well, look at me. Well, if it me. isn't the smelliest pile of puke in all of nowhere, Samantha Hill. How the heck fire are you? Hey, smelliest pile of puke is, is honestly, is for me, the best this line in the entire game. That creases so me every single time. Two human children. But while we're in this bar, then, we will be getting a few achievements, doctor. and... I'm just showing them around. This is the first major point in the story where there's an achievement later on and basically Wormhorn gets to decide who's the winner and there's a few points in the game where uh, a few choices so you can either side with Milo or side with Lola so for instance uh, Milo wants to get invited upstairs now to Tommy's death day party so Milo wants to play beer pong with Tommy but Lola wants to uh, get these two guys arguing on the left a bit more so the bouncer basically pisses off with them and then you can go up stairs without being seen now this is why you need two playthroughs so following my playthrough now will get you the um, Milo achievement and then you'll have to do a separate playthrough to then do a Lola achievement so obviously as long as you're following exactly what I do in this video I will put up another video with what you have to do with Lola to get that achievement later on Good God, I hope that made sense. I tried making it as easy as I can, but, uh, well, yeah. So to summarize then, <laughs> two achievements. It's Milo and Lolo will have a fight. You have other um, you'll play as one or the other a bit, little bit Tell later on. Boy, Do another playthrough to get the other one. There you go. I think I've summarized <laughs> that well. Here's Tommy anyway. And what we will need to be doing then is getting another achievement, and that is for playing the perfect game of, uh, well, beer pong. Uh, Get him to invite us up. Get him well, to it can us sound up. easy yes, enough, but it it's going to take you a little bit of luck involved, to be honest. Um, right, Tommy. But it Sorry took me wait. about what can I get you? Oh, it took geez, me about ten to fifteen know. times of uh, having uh, to quit recommend? the game and reload. Oh, so if you do miss, just, just quit, hey, uh, quit Don? the game, press start, or quit the game out in the main Thomas? menu, and then try again. But hopefully, can't you stupid piece as you will see, I should have done. I think I've got it down to a T where you've actually got to aim the ball as you will see in just a bit. worth it or eating 50 raw eggs? Well, it's supposed to suck, right? Would it be insulting if I said that I'm kind of surprised I still have all my tea? No, the insults here are typically more deliberate. She's Lola, I'm Milo. We're actually just trying to Wait, 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 wait. You're new. We got to have a toast. Do a shot with me. Come on. Van Dyke, three brass bulls if you please. Sure thing. If you ate before you got here... Um... Sure. Our livers are unkillable. Might as well take advantage. Wow, really? Guys, you should be honored. Lola is not the type for spontaneous... Uh... Revelry. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. Okay, cats and jammer kids, listen up. Above ground booze is watered down milk, but here... This shit ain't 2%. Father Van Dyke's been serving alcohol since Jesus was still overcharging for kitchen cabinets. Around the bend. Let's go. Cheers. Ah, <laughs> uh, goes down smooth. Now, you should notice you feel a little empowered, right? Maybe a little freer? Or if you have eyeballs, you'll notice you have an extra choice floating around in your brain. Hey, you're right. Feels kind of weird. Like I grew an extra toe. You'll get used to it. But be careful what you order. Different drinks affect people different ways. Like, you know, for instance... Hey, Jim Jump! So because you've had a drink, you'll obviously notice the blurred effect there. And one of the dialogue options coming up now will have a swear word in it. So again, just make sure to pick the ones with a swear word in it. The yellow dialogue options when you've had a drink. Get the hell out of my friend's face before you start pissing me off. Jesus, you, you don't have to raise your voice at me. I know when I'm not wanted, I can... I can and of course, as long as you've got a drink in a bar, 
it'll always have one dialogue option, another dialogue option, and it'll say uh, right trigger to drink, and then it'll come up anyway. So always make sure to just have a drink on you just in case. But like I was saying, brass bowls tend to make people a little ordinary. But try different drinks for different results. Christ, they sound like a fucking car commercial. Tit-tit, Tommy, are we having a rematch or have your balls not grown back yet? <laughs> hey, I'm coming over there, all right? Nice meeting you, kids. Crap, we should... We're missing our chance, we should go ask him, right? I mean, he's our ticket upstairs. To Sam and, uh, her info. Okay, let's get him. I thought we were friends. How could you not tell me? Why would I need to tell you dolls can't really talk? Can it, you two? I warned you once already. One more outburst, you and everyone near you are getting their feet nailed to the top of Mount Vasectomy. Oh, wait. Maybe we should just egg those two idiots on. The bouncer will have to deal with it, and then we can go upstairs. The bouncer will have to... How do you even know that'll happen? Doesn't that seem, like, advanced? Hey, whatever you want to do. I'm just a squirrel trying to... Trying to... Ugh, never mind. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> okay. Hey, fellas. Beer pong, huh? Uh, my, my dorm room was next to the guy who won his league tournaments. That's awesome. You know what would be even more awesome? If he could stop talking and never start again. Hey, now. Artesia's consumer of negligent fathers. That's not cool. Milo, right? You want to play around? It's really simple. <laughs> Easy to learn, hard to master, right? Uh, we're just trying to find our friend, but thanks anyway. We'll be here. Away from you. Hey, uh, Father Eater. Still want to play my friend? I still want to annihilate your friend, yes. Rock and roll, bitch. Gather round, everyone. This chickadee thinks she's a rooster already. Well, I eat people who eat roosters for breakfast. Ooh. Hey, all right. You make more well-wishers with honey. So here we go, then. The first real tricky-ish achievement of the game, and that is for getting all three pongs in every cup without missing. So the way I do it is... The first shot, do it just above Milo's eyebrow. Uh, Milo, obviously, with the uh, lighter coloured jacket on there. Then one just above his fringe, and then one just above his head, as you will see. Chicken now. You got lucky in hell. So there you go. And like I said, a little bit of luck can be involved in this. Sometimes it'll rebound off the cup and either go in or out. So, But this will take you a couple of times. If you do have to quit out to the main menu and go back in, you do have to go through a little bit of dialogue options, um, through a little bit of the dialogue again, which is a goddamn shame. It's this one just above his fringe. Again, if it's easier for you, you can just pause the video just to make sure and see exactly where I've got it. Why, why bother? He'll probably just like mess. Come on. Come on, Lola. Which angel's ass did you tickle for that one? I cannot believe the shit. My arm was tired from stabbing and eating fathers all day. So then, there we have it. That's the lucky shot achievement done. And like I said, it might take you about maybe five to ten tries, depending on... You know, hopefully the luck went on your side and you've done sort of exactly as I could, as much as you could. And I've got to be honest, this is, that was really making me... I really want a game of beer pong now. I really want it to be the weekend and I want to go out and I want to get smashed. Um, but anyway, that's for another... Uh, yeah, that's probably for another video one day. Well, I might do a drunk stream one day. But I'll probably get banned for it. So anyway, moving on then... <laughs> Now we can, um, uh, sure. obviously we're at our first bar, so now we can get a drink and take a sip of each drink that's on the menu. So again, it'll take just a little bit of time, but make sure to just uh, purchase each one, get it down you, and then go for the next one. Remember, unkillable livers. Comes in handy when you're drinking alcohol. He wants a big bloody stool.
Girly, what's your poison? Uh, just same as him, I guess. Uh, I thought, don't the demons torture the human? How come everyone's just hanging out like it's happy hour at Chili's? Look, nobody here wants to be doing what they're doing. It's a job, and people understand that. Must be. And when your shift's over, you drink with whatever dangling eyeballs in front of you. The nicer ones, anyway. I don't know why, but it makes this somehow even more depressing. What can I get you? Make me a famous last words. Two grave robbers. What kind of whiskey? Well, if I knew I would get the third degree, I wouldn't have even bothered. What can I get you? Great Amethian sounds good. Pick your poison, kids. A pair of anguish, I think. Get something. Good sir, I believe we're on the list. Your parents must be proud. Hey, you know, we we should be friends. Seriously. I mean, what's your name? Do you do you have a name? Do demon bouncers have names, or are you like like a doorknob or something? I hate this job. Come on, buddy, let's keep the pogo stick hopping. This, uh, wait, is this even the same bar? Welcome, welcome to Tommy Tulaney's Death Day Celebration. I saw you two talking to Tommy downstairs. Are you a victim or a fan? Wait, the, the guy we were, that's Thomas Tulaney, the serial killer? Kidnapped, tortured, and killed 13 young men over a period of six years. Yes, sir, Bob. Never caught, though. But, but he was... He was so nice to us. Yeah, you can't really slaughter a litter of boys in total anonymity without a few social graces. Have you seen Sam? Yeah, she's over on the balcony talking with Fornius. So then, now you find out who Tommy actually is. Ah, oh, but he's such a nice guy, apart from all those murderings of um, young kids. Um, just go straight to the left then to find Sam. Another, quite a bit of dialogue will play out, but that'll be it for this sort of section of the game. And then we move on. Lady, gentlemen. Forney. Gah, that guy. You give him an inch, he takes a really long conversation. Sorry that took a while. How'd you even get up here? We sort of made friends with Thomas, the night scalper Tulaney, so... Yay! Lola beat his buddy in blood pong. Wow, I'm impressed. You're a little old for Tulaney. You know, but with Milo's head of hair, I can, I can see the appeal, actually. Hey, we're, we're cool, okay? I, I, uh, I... Yeah, you obviously died jet skiing with, with supermodels. I, we can see that now. Listen, Sam, it's been a fun uh, hour, or however long we've been here, but we really, we really want to get out, if possible. We just, we want to go home. See that big mansion down the way? The one having the party? 
That's Satan's house. He throws a rager every night, invites the fucking universe, tries to keep everybody's spirits up. You see, Hell's been in a bit of a low period recently. And by recently, I mean like the last thousand years. Nowhere in the Nine Circles, they used to be a place of, you know, creativity. Of uncompromised refusal to go to bed when you're told. We were the scribbled in margins in God's field guide, you know? And now, well, now people just like to get shit-faced. And I don't really know who we are anymore. Okay, but why are you telling us this? I feel like I'm talking to my uncle about how great Brooklyn used to be. I'm telling you this because it deserves context. What deserves context? You see, chums, there's one old practice that's stayed around. And Satan has a standing offer to anyone that wants to try. You outdrink him, you outparty him, you earn his respect. He opens the door and lets you go back home. Back to Earth. Alive. To do whatever you want to do until you die of something else. Okay, well, has anyone ever, like, done it? Oh, sure. I mean, not since... When was Buddha farting around again? 500 years before Christ. Okay, well, there you go. And I think there was a velociraptor before him. Okay, so, yeah, okay, um... But you're saying the only way out of hell is... out-drink the Prince of Lies? We call him the Prince of Partying down here, but yes, you have to out-party the Prince of Partying. Okay. Lola, Milo, welcome to the show. Now, if you don't mind, I got other fares to pick up, so if you want to head to Lucifer's, now's the time. Well, there's nothing else to do, so yeah, let's go. So welcome to hell then, that's another achievement unlocked, it's a story related achievement so you shouldn't miss that and if you do then you've got a glitched game. Um, now we'll just basically follow Sam back to her taxi. How uh, long have you been a cab driver or a, a psycho, psycho pump? Oh, a uh, good long while. Since I've been here, really. You know, it's hard to complain. I get to meet interesting clans, such as yourselves. Drift in and out of people's peccadillos. I think my life would make a good CBS sitcom, you know? I don't go on many adventures, but... So, uh, ever take any famous people? Like, who would you say was your most interesting fare? What, like in the last year? Sure. I took a woman who had gotten sent to hell. The first circle, mind you, so... It's not that bad. Ugh, still, here comes pain hey, in the ass. The life. guy that thinks everyone cheated on him. And the gal that wants to be housewife with one and a half kids. <laughs> Reach for the stars. Having a good adventure so far. I'm just about to clock in. Just wanted to, wanted to let you know. Just so you're aware, I I'm really excited to hit the ground blazing. Uh-huh. And uh, what does that mean again exactly? Oh, uh, it means I'll be popping up here and there to mentally and spiritually agonize you. T to the best of my ability, of course. <laughs> I'm still new. Personal demons are like mayflies or, or like uh, dime store gossip kids. They flare up like fireworks from the Correa Imaginativa. The, 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 the pits of, you know, Unus Mundus. But they can only hurt you if, you know, you're, you're too poor to afford therapy. Yeah. It's hard, okay? Animals, uh, plants, give demons something to work with. Most organisms fear being eaten or not dying quickly enough while being eaten, but humans are afraid of, like, not making money or dying before using a sex swing. Like, you people get nervous when you see a car drive on the sidewalk. Well, good luck. I'll try to act really, uh, sad or whatever when you show up with a picture of my favorite dead ants. Oh, come on, I think we could do a little better than that. Anyways, I'll see you around when you least expect it. <laughs> oh, quick reminder. Crowds. Like them. You liked them, right? Mm, whatever, I'll look at my notes. Bye! Anyway, my ride's just up here. All right, Sane's place is on Welkin Way. I figure you want to get there a spittily lick if you're itching to get home before your oatmeal cools. So, uh, whenever you're ready, we'll head over. 
All right, let's, uh, let's meet, uh, Lucifer. Spoken like a true necromancer. Next stop, Welkin Way. So what's uh, what's Satan like? Do we do we call him Satan or the the devil? What's his? Actually, am I caring too much about what Satan wants? That's probably not a good thing, right? First of all, take a couple of rests, okay? Morning stars used to the whole, you know. Wow, it's really you! I can't believe it. Celebrity fawning song and song. Everybody falls into the reverence trap. Cyrus the Great would have shaken his hand. I mean, you can't help it. But there's only two things you gotta know about the little horn, okay? The first is that him and Daddy had a falling out after Lucifer thought he could run the family business better than his old man. He started the war, he lost the war, so he ended up here in Abaddon, aka hell, aka the place where it smells like a wet anteater even in winter. And second, he didn't make the rules, but he has to enforce them. Think of him like the first kid sent to detention and forced to become, like, a hall monitor. He knows he's a bit of a goober, and he doesn't like it any more than you do. Okay, but well, he's, like, evil, though, right? Like, he invented evil? Oh, we're talking about the serpent and the forbidden fruit now? Well, if you ask me, he didn't invent evil. He invented, uh, dissent. Opposition. The idea of, uh, going another way. Of putting chocolate milk in chocolate cereal and not caring if it tastes like too much. Of calling your treehouse your house and your house your dirt box. It smells like bullshit to me. A lot of assholes would say they're just going their own way. I never said it didn't make him an asshole. Okay, I can see the lights. Almost there. Hold on. Welcome way. Last stop. Watch, watch, watch your head. This place used to be, you know, actually, never mind. You gotta do the hike. Might as well let you discover it for yourself. Luke's is the only house. It's the big one at the top. And remember, a night out drinking usually starts a little apprehensive. Songs of humanity secrets only you and your mates know the lyrics to. Have fun. Text me to any cab stand if you need a ride somewhere. I'm usually just cleaning up puke, so. You know, I always get nervous before walking into parties. Like, I get this idea that everyone's gonna turn and look at me right when I get there and just know that guy isn't cool enough to own a pair of sunglasses. Well, don't worry about it yet. See that giant ass line of people? I don't think we're getting in for a while. No, there's... There has to be another way. Well, let's check it out. Um, hello? Hi, I'm Gooseneck. I'll be your first floor carriage for the evening. It's the only way up. Unless you somehow smuggled in rock climbing gear. Uh, yes. As long as this is uh, Hell's version of an elevator and not, you know, someone's gonna, like, <laughs> mutilate us. Oh, heavens no. But I can understand the concern, seeing where we are and all. Going up. One. One floor. Up. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry, it's a little bumpy. I had quesadillas this morning. So now we are going to Satan's pad. Basically, there's four floors which you have to basically climb up with these um, demon elevators. But you only have to do this once at the game because then you can just go up and down without any issues. Um, straight to the first, straight to the fifth floor. Uh, again, bit of dialogue and, and things like that, but keep it going. And I have to say, I've got such a massive appreciation for this game because Oxen Free was quite different to this. It was obviously a very good puzzle, um, puzzle game, very good, excellent story, obviously very serious. And I just love how they've gone in a completely different direction. And I do hope uh, Night School Studios release a lot more games because the two they've released so far have been pretty epic. In such different varieties as well. Sorry, but are you, are you, aren't you the exact same demon? Okay. So again, just keep climbing up every elevator, left and right, left and right. And then when we get to the top, 
we will have to choose between helping a guy named Fella, a demon named Fella, sorry, and a human named Linda. And we will be helping Linda because that gets us the most achievements. And Milo is probably horny. And turbulence accounts for only 2% of falls. Third floor, everybody out. I'm going on a picnic, and I'm bringing apples, bananas, carrots, donkeys, earworms, footballs, and... There's a time limit here. What comes after F? G. Hey, uh, can we, uh... First of all, I'm not the same demon. I know you motherfuckers all think we look alike, but I'm Spandrel, the third floor carriage. No, 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 we... we don't... And second? I'm not gonna mutilate your dumb asses. What kind of ignorant ass shit is that? Okay, we we're getting a little in the weeds here. I um, we're sorry. Okay, we're just just trying to get to Satan's house. Oh, it's all right. It's just this is my shit. I'm unloading on you. Don't don't worry about it. <sighs> it's been a long night. Cage closing. Going on up. Oh, why didn't Satan just make more stairs? Because Satan likes to keep demons employed, that's why. Fourth floor, get the fuck out. Uh, ha hello. Hi, I'm Ballister, your fourth floor carriage. Wanna go up? Great, great, that's, yes, thank you. Your, uh, associates seem a bit on edge tonight. Only the bottom and top floors have bathrooms. Oh, uh, okay. Fifth floor, the Timothy Top. Zabulba, 616 Welkin Way. Everybody out! Oh, shit. Jerry, I, I mean, Terry, Baker's blowing up. Ugolino has an extra invitation. Um, sorry, but what's... what's bigger? It's the social media down here. Look at your phone, it comes pre-installed. There, see? You can get good info on what's going on in hell. Yo, uh, what's the commercial say? Geotagged, user-specific. It's a nice way to distract from the perpetual torment. Cool. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, no problem. Now back of the line before I cut you. Hey, it's Milo and Lola. Still on that mission to get out of hell, huh? I'll just be going into the party now with my special uh, VIP invitation. Aren't you coming? Oh wait, you can't. Um, hey, can we can we go in with you? You can like mentally torture us in there if you want. <laughs> Uh, can we just go in with you? You can, like, mentally torture us in there if you want. Laugh at him, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Screw that thing, Lola. Let's just check Bicker and find other people with a spare invite. Okay, cool. Look, here. There's, uh, I see two of them, and uh, we only need one. <sighs> Whatever. We'll take what we can get. There's... There's a demon who says he needs help apprehending someone. And a woman, Linda, who says she has an invite to give away. She just wants someone to get her a drink. This'll be downright easy. Awesome, let's get back to Sam and track down these fools. So you'll just need to open up your map here just to show where they um, both are then. And you've got to choose, this is where we need to go, Little Rantalia, that is where Linda is, not Bobolin Park, that's where Fella is. You got it. Gate closing, going down. Are really sore. They got me pushing boulders up mountains all day now. It's good for your hamstrings, but some cardio wouldn't hurt, you know?
So, all partied out? Normally people are more covered in blood and viscera. But far be it for me to tell you how to live. Hey, Sam, you could have warned us about the eternal line to get in. I heard someone talking about the fucking Joloth Empire. That shit hasn't been around for like 500 years. Oh, we have a plan, though. There's some people have invites, and some people have uh, have spares, so... so... you wanted to get invited to cut the line, yeah, I don't need the damn transcript. Whose tree do you want to shake first? There's a demon in uh, Bobolin Park who says he needs help catching somebody. But there's also a human woman who just wants a drink. But we so... know it can't just be that, or else it would have already been done, so... Ah, uh, classic case of too many good ideas. It's like 30 years more all over again. Guess you got some picking to do. So again, be sure to click on the right upper corner there of Little Rantalia and then click go. And then Let's Milo might them. get his jolly socks off. I know it sounds too easy, but maybe it is. Oh, I just want on the record that this is a trap, okay? A trap of inconvenience. You're not like crazy fans of Linda, right? Because she's not too big into autographs or meeting people. Why would we be fans? Did she like murder a, a deposed baby king or something? She used to be the lead singer of that witchy witch band, Mercury Worm, back in the 70s. But do you really think she's gonna give us her invite just for buying her a drink? Uh, maybe. If that's what she said, she could use the company. But you know, it might not entirely be up to her. What does that mean? Eh, let's leave the spoilers till your second playthrough. What does that mean? Let's leave all the annoying questions till then, too, okay? Next up, Little Rontalia. Uh, hey, so speaking of, like, uh, music. <laughs> Was any of that stuff about playing records in reverse to hear satanic messages? Was it real? Oh, yeah. And not just records. TV shows, commercials. You know bus stops have those automated recordings? Play them backwards and you'll hear Satan whispering Chinese nuclear codes. Oh. But Lucifer and rock stars have a real history. It's true. It's something about needing to, to scream your ego out into the conjectural void. So, is there anyone, like, actually famous down here? Like, musicians we would know? Of course. I mean, most famous people are down here. It's really difficult to reach a certain social stratosphere without seriously abusing, like, a small town's worth of humanity. But music, the creative arts, has always been a thing for the damned. Slavery let the self-possessed invent crap like trumpets, and it's hard to really break from that lineage, you know? Anyways, we're almost there. Don't let on that you know Linda. She's kind of embarrassed about her solo album, Helicopter Fuckhouse. Okay, Little Rontalia, here we are. One of Hell's oldest districts, founded, uh, founded right after the war. Lots of relics, landmarks, a carrot juice bar just opened up on the other side of town. And, uh, oh, the dirty hurdy-gurdies just down the road there. That's where Linda said she wants that drink, right? Yep. Okay, kids, text me if you need a ride. Have fun at music camp. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think I have heard of Mercury Worm. Yeah, didn't they reinvent themselves in the 80s, becoming some synth monstrosity? I've told you this a hundred thousand times before, but... But it's always been a dream of yours to be in a band. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you remember, uh, but I tried in that one talent show in sixth grade. I played a harpsichord. Yeah, you were, uh, you were really good. Thanks. I know an educational jam band isn't to everyone's taste, but... I think some of the faculty, or at least Mr. Thompson, liked it. He was nodding his head, at least. Mr. Thompson lost his hearing in Vietnam. Well, it's a beautiful country. It was just so embarrassing. Being up on that stage, getting booed, or uh, make friends. Look, Milo, kids at that age are just dick bags. 
I mean, what 12-year-old's even heard of metal machine music? I think that was the music teacher that said that, but the point still stands. So then just keep going to the right, we need to get to the dirty, gurdy, hurdy, birdy, murdy bar, or whatever the hell it's called. You can't miss it anyway. But we'll be coming up now to a couple of chanters, and we will need to come back to these guys in a bit for yet another achievement. Do you see the sign there? Dirty, hurdy, gurdy. Keep going to the right. And like I said, you will see three guys in stocks. The chanters we will come back to a little bit later. You'll have a little conversation with them now. You two, you there, the ebony woman and the lemon man. Hail and well met. Hail and well met. Fuck off. I get enough racist cat calling at my therapist's office. Thank you. All our sincerest apologies if we've offended you. We aren't up on the modern descriptors. Do you, uh, do you guys need something? That is so kind of you to offer. We would indeed humbly ask for your assistance. Yes, could the Ethiopian please pick up the small whistle-like contraption resting there at my feet? I'm afraid that's our tuner. Hadrian here dropped it. One's hand tends to get sweaty. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tuner? And you really need this that bad? One of us needs it that bad. But if you could please hand us the fallen vocal adjuster whenever convenient, we'd be most appreciative. Thank you. Here you go. Oh, you've done it. A surprise for the ages. Thank you so much. We certainly appreciate it. Even Longinus here is eternally grateful. Keep up the good work. Yeah, I can't wait to see what you do in the future. I can almost guarantee that whatever it is, we'll be standing right here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Althalos, you're still flat. Uh, what chant should we perform now that we have our... The Mass of the Angels. The dirty, hurdy gurdy. Well... Well, they might have sucked the singing, but they are definitely a lot better than most of the crap that's in the charts these days, eh? Eh? Nicki Minaj, Justin Bieber, you can go screw yourselves. <laughs> no, no, no. Here to the end of the story. Think that lonely-looking woman with a haunting stare and perfect cheekbones is... Is Lin right then, so you just seen Linda, who is on her own at the right-hand side of the bar. So you you can talk to other people if you want, but you know, for time and progress, there's not really much point. You don't need to. Although, of course, if you want to find out little things about how they got to hell, etc., then of course it's definitely worth doing talking. But you know, if you just after the period of the achievements, go straight to Linda as soon as these guitarists and things. Shut the hell up. Hey, uh, listen. This is gonna sound weird, but with Linda, can I, like, do all the talking? Why? It's just, I've never gotten to be that guy, you know? Ordering a woman a drink, sliding it across the bar. Hey, if you want to practice your cold calling in bars, be my guest. Just remember why we're here. Awesome, yeah, no, totally. Eyes on the prize. Uh, Milo the Virgin, who talked to no girls on Earth, now wants to talk to Linda. He's got that alcohol bravery in him. Go on, Sam. Go on. Hi, um, are you... No, I won't take a picture with you or sign your femur. And I'm kind of in the middle of something. Really? Because it looks like you just... Uh, want a drink? I can... Seriously, kids. If you want to chat, the least you can do is get me a margarita. Bomb squads and uh, do you have anything with honey in it? Yeah, we have six drinks that contain wasp urine. Four bomb squads. I'll send them over to your table. Next! We're fresh out of priest bladder, but what can I get you? So again then, just before we help Linda out, go ahead and purchase and drink every drink at the bar. And that will obviously give you more progress towards the drinking 20 different drink types throughout the game. Wait. 
wait, what was the last drink we got her? Linda likes Wolwyn's margaritas. I'll send over one, on the house. Thanks. Want something? One student of Prague, please. Student of Prague coming up. So the plane crashes and my friend, he plays the octobase, he uses it like a damn inflatable raft while sharks bop me around like a fucking chew toy. Wait, this sounds like classical music. I don't fuck composers, okay? Keep the line moving, thank you. What do you have? What do you have? One Woolen's Margarita, if you, uh, if you want. Woolen's Margarita, my favorite to make. Changing the music? The Black Death, thanks. Black Death? Sure. Just another quick note on the Black Death drink here. Now, if you're worried that you're not going to get the um, swear 20 times intentionally throughout the game, what you can do is get a Black Death drink, drink it, go and talk to Linda, and then the same dialogue option about still, uh, I think, about being damned in hell. That will keep being an option, so you can just do that here. You can just do that here if you wanted to. So get the Black Death drink, go and talk to her. Hi, I'm Say that you're still damned in hell, do that 20 yes, times and I the achievement will unlock. But of course, if you're happy enough to just carry on and go with the other swearing words, there's plenty, there should be plenty enough through the game anyway. But that's just in case you wanted to get it done here. The menu says it's oddly sweet, just like me. <laughs> sure. Well, the walk there and back earned you at least two minutes. Have a seat. Circle. But judging by your starstruck faces, I'm sure you already knew that. Not that I would, you know, care too much if you didn't. Oh yeah, no, we're big fans. The, the biggest. I, I have all your posters and uh, brand label keychains. So I'm sure you're going to Satan's tonight for the reunion then. What reunion? Oh, Jesus. Okay, some backstory. Mercury Worm was my band, obviously, but we broke up. And in my discerning absence, they added a keyboardist and started collaborating with 15-year-old DJs. The fuckers took a fame rocket ship to Planet Coke and Hookers. But they all just died in a plane crash, like, a week ago. How romantic, right? But they're the hot new diarrhea, so Satan booked them for his house party, tonight. Maybe all the album covers posing with drugged white tigers finally bit him in the ass. Why'd you break up? Was this a George Michael got too big for wham sort of thing? They were assholes, that's why. Well, that and they wanted me to stop trying to rhyme orangutan in every song. Wait, Linda, just... If you have a spare invite to Satan's party, we could really use it. See, now that's a problem. When I split from the band, I pledged my eternal soul to Satan for a solo career. And it worked for about six months until my 27th birthday when I died parasailing down the Detroit River. Now, part of my infernal contractual agreement is to perform shows here and once tonight, so I can't go. But, and neither can my invitee, since you'd need to, you know, come in with me. They won't let you in without me there, see? Sorry if you came just for that. Do you think there's a way we could, like, get you out of it for the night? Did Moses get out of building the Ark? Wait, wait, let me just, uh, let me quarterback this. You said there's a contract, right? Well, shit, people get out of contracts all the time. My Uncle Jeff thought he had a prenup. He's living in a van in Reseda now. She took his damn hamster. Guys, look, what if we just, we found a loophole or, or a replacement? Come on, give us something here. Oh, it would be nice to be there when Mercury Worm falls on their faces. Okay, if you want to try, you can try. But you gotta deal with Ono, my manager. She owns the bar. She's downstairs right now, probably looking at another undeveloped talent. Good luck. You somehow managed to pull this off. I'll, uh, I'll be here. We'll be back before you can say Mercury Worm. Mercury Worm. 
Come on, that wasn't fair. Wait until we actually, like, leave. So she's downstairs, she said. This place is a basement. Surprise! It's also a music venue. They dug a big shithole in here and shot out a stage. As for Ono, you can't miss her. She'll probably be yelling at one of her bedraggled assistants. We'll uh, keep that in mind. Thanks. We'll be back. Okay. Oh, no. Let's just sweet talk her downstairs and get Linda off leash. Roger. So now we've got a job of getting Linda out of a contract. And we can also get another, another achievement. And this is for perfect dancing. Now, this is a lot easier than the beer pong. So you should have no issues. There's a... There's about two, there's a two to three second time limit, as you'll see a bit later on, but all you've got to do is just follow the, um, follow the button combo, and it's as easy as that. Not literally a mixtape, but a thing you can get with a download code if you follow us on Bicker. It's called I Get Mine. Drop the beat. Excuse me, sorry, don't mean to interrupt this. Thing. Excuse me, what is this? Who are you? We're in the middle of an audition. If you can't already tell, and I doubt very much that Black House appreciates the intrusion. We, uh, we came here to talk about the existing infernal contract you have with Linda Landon. Any inquiries into talent availability should be made at the appropriate times with the appropriate vendors. Oh, we're not talking about. Even if it would save your mother's life, I wouldn't take the moments to learn what you're talking about. Now, church my scurry and you're in a hurry, so get out. Uh, uh, don't, don't mind him, kids, little Chattanooga choo-choos. Valak couldn't find the right spoon for his cereal this morning, so now he's a little ill-tempered. They don't have an... there's no meeting scheduled. Okay, just hit the pause button, okay? Give us a break here. You'd give a fucking rock a headache. Uh, fine, we'll continue this shortly. But house, thank you. I'm Ono Skellis. Some folks call me Ono. That's my auxiliary, Valak. He girds and guards my affairs. I prefer the term executive peon, but... And you are doing a book report on Linda Landon's autobiography, Does the Hyena Cry? The Linda Landon Parable. It didn't really fly off the shelves, if I remember. You need to get Linda out of her contract. Uh, just for the night, but... It is a bit of emergency. I need to let Linda out of her contract? Why do I need to let Linda out of her contract? Speak quickly now. Uh, we actually want to try to do the out party Satan thing to escape hell. So I need to let Linda out of her contract tonight. So you can drink the night away at Satan's house and try to earn your way back home. And your father's label maker said what on your toy chests? Milo and Lola. Milo and Lola. Valak, how many years left on Linda's term sheet? Roughly 10,000 years. Linda got a discount for time served when she lived in San Antonio that summer. Okay, sold. She can have the night off. Yeah. But you'll have to find a loner. Uh, yeah? A replacement act. We can't be understaffed. Easy. You just want someone who can sing, right? Play recorder. I don't know what Linda's act is like. It's music? Just find a musician. And don't just go and get any waterlogged corpse that's not at home watching TV, okay? No, definitely not these. It'll be, uh, top shelf. I should... I'll cryptically add this. Think about the risk here, potentially, before you zip off to Never Never Land and fetch some Sarcoline crooner. What risk? The first word a human being ever said was property. I should know. I was there at it. I've bought souls for a baby's breath, and I've bought souls for a ham sandwich. The only difference was the stuff they thought they were getting in return. And for someone like Linda, who's so dog-shaking desperate to get out of a contract, she'd send two souls who ain't been dead not 17 minutes to bargain with me? Well, I think the plan deserves scrutiny is all. Maybe check it for ticks before you scamper off on the songbird's behalf. Don't let her sell you out, kids. I see bad contracts signed every day. Well, what the fuck did she mean by that? I only understood like half the damn words. Sarkaline crooner? Uh, I think she's saying that Linda could stab us in the back or something, or maybe like trick us into switching places with her. No, she wouldn't do that, right? You don't know what Linda Landon is capable of, children. But don't lose your concentration, now. 
Ono requires a replacement performance if you want her freed up for the party. And don't even daydream about returning until you do. All right. Now we just have to find some singers and uh, convince them to do this. Now, it didn't mess up or anything there, but through all that dialogue, you've seen there was a couple of... Uh, Drink, yeah, right sense. trigger to get up Let's a dialogue option, difference. and I didn't for some reason. But I think there's one or two extra swear words in there you can get if you wanted to. But anyway, like I said, you get it. There's so many throughout the game anyway, so you shouldn't really miss it. But now we've got to head upstairs, go to the left, and we'll go back to the chanters. Now we've got to convince them to try and fill in for Linda. Which I'm pretty sure they'll do anyway, no matter how you go about it. Oh, look, it's our new friends, the Tuner Picker-Uppers. Hail and well met. We've been practicing. A lot. Some would say too much. Hope you've been well. Small talk about your sister and her baby, whatever. Do you guys, by chance, want to play a show? A show? What show? Would we get paid? Are you getting paid? Paid? No, we're not getting paid. And if you wanted to cut a salary, you shouldn't have become fucking liturgists. I just want to know what the twist is before I sit through the movie. Don't be rude, Longinus. Let's hear them out. I don't want to hear them out. You know what they're going to say. Uh, hey, this might not mean much to you, but this would really, really help us out. I mean, you're Gregorian chanters, right? Catholic? It'd be a good deed? Well, obviously, we weren't good Catholics if we're in hell. To be perfectly honest, we could use the exposure. Foot traffic slowed down ever since they moved the taco hut. <sighs> I guess you're right. Oh. 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 Yeah, maybe practice a little bit more before the show, because the sounds coming out of your mouth sounds like a funeral that died and went to hell where it exists with us now. Took the words right out of my mouth. Clearly you don't like East Coast chanting, but to each their own. We'll meet you in the basement of the hurdy-gurdy when we're ready. It's Ono's show, and she wants to see a sampling first. No worries. We'll, uh, manage. So there we go, then. They reluctantly agree. Awful singing, but again, I'd rather listen to them 20 times over than any crap that comes on the radio these days. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else is the same. Okay, it's not all crap, but... You know, most of it is. Anyway, go back, go back inside, go back downstairs, and now this is where we'll be getting the Dance Dance Revolution achievement. That's not what the achievement is called, by the way. That is just the game I used to love playing as a kid. You know, in the arcade and got the little dance machine? Yeah, that was pretty cute. Um, but yeah, this is where we'll be getting the dancing achievement. To, uh, to play tonight. Really? Yeah. Really? Uh, the, the chanters outside. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> Huzzah! Wait, we're still in the fucking stocks? You picked these guys? They don't exactly seem performance ready. Oh, come on, they'll be fine. We heard them outside. They can kind of carry a tune. Kind of? We can carry a tune and move your piano for you at the same time, kid. Yeah, I don't know about this. Maybe with some uh, taxi dancers. I mean, this, it, it needs some elasticity to it. Dancers. This isn't Studio 54. I wish it was Studio 54. If you can't sing, Valak, you dance. If you can't dance, you set things on fire. That's the rule of rock and roll. And no one is going to watch monastic hermits moan like castrated jockeys. Unless things are humping each other in the background while they do it. So, Milo and Lola, want to stand in for me? Wait, what, what, what's happening right now? You're gonna dance while your chosen artists perform. But just Shadow Valak, he'll show you what to do. I just need to see it in a group, you know? Of course, you couldn't have asked me to do this when I was still jogging. Valak here has been wanting to dance on the Buddy Dean's show since he was in Pigtails. He choreographs most of the numbers that come through here. 
Buddy Dean couldn't handle me, honey. You two. It'll be easy. Just follow the moves as I go along. And don't deviate. I didn't study La Sonambula in college for nothing. Uh, but what, what if we suck? Would you uh, not let them perform? Depends on how much suckage we're talking about. It'll be all right, Milo. Just like the, the, the talent show we talked about. You in sixth grade? Oh, you mean the one you couldn't even say anything about because you were so embarrassed by the memory of it. Wait, 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 wait! Don't start the show without me! I always love live dancing. Are you guys gonna show Bush, or is it just tits up? Oh my god, will you fuck off, Wormhorn? We don't need this shit right now. Are you sure you want to do this? Lola's right! I mean, Milo, do you really remember the sixth grade talent show? That didn't turn out so well, did it? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Lil Chad Leckler beat you up so bad you had to take off school. Wait, Milo, you said you got the flu. Honestly, he was throwing up so much, it's not that big of a lie. Lola, I'm sorry, Wormhorn's right. I can't do this. You should take the lead here. I'll just uh, tap my So then, it's usually only a three Wait, button or four it, button combo, it's and simple. sometimes it will go slow, as in, dun, 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 but do not follow on, that. Just, follow you've only got like a two or three second time limit window. window, so as soon as you see the button combination, just uh, chuck it in as fast as you can. Don't actually follow how slow it goes. I can, I can see it. I really can. With professionals, it'll really distract from the horrifying music. Thanks. She wasn't talking about you. So, Bisono, what did you think? Like I said, that was definitely a lot easier than the beer pong one. Even if you do mess up, and you have to quit out of the main menu and go back in, I, I think I didn't have to do it. I done it first time, but I think it'll set you right back at the start of the dance routine there. And go screw yourself, Wormhorn. Give me! Now that that bit of unpleasantness is in our rear view... I'll let you unfurl the banners. Tell Linda she's free for the evening. Great, awesome, thank you. Valak will riddle out the details. I imagine you'll be going to Morning Stars now. Uh, Satan's, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, to try to outdrink him, get back home. Do you think you'll be able to do it? The two of you. Even if I had uh, misgivings, we have to try. It's the only way out we've heard of, uh, so far. Lucifer was the first rock star. You know, before Liz, before Paganini, before that caveman that played a dinosaur's rib cage like a xylophone. It was him. And notoriety makes you forget things. Responsibilities to yourself and others. And look, he has bigger things to worry about tonight than a drinking contest. Responsibilities like what? It's just... Every human creature carries microscopic mites. Mites that live full, hectic, provocative lives. They fall in love, have children, die tragically. And I say this not to make you itch. I say this so that when you see rock stars and movie stars and people with jets, when you meet Satan, remember that you are all planets responsible for a billion souls. 
And so is he. And what else could be more important than that? Say hi to Linda for me. We'll be in touch. Thanks for, uh, being the, uh, the lead back there. I just, you know, I really should just stay in my lane. You can do this stuff, Milo, all right? The sixth grade was a long time ago. You're cooler than you were, no matter what that librarian told you. Now let's give Linda the good news and get her damn invite. So now then, we finally got Linda out of her contract for a night. Now we'll have to go back and tell her. And this is where we can get the invite to Satan's party and unlock the achievement where you get the invite from Linda. And this is where, of course, we'll have to do another playthrough to go well, back and get the invite from the demon named thing. Fella who is on Boblin Park Island, or whatever it's called. they all just arrived. It's funny. I was thinking maybe there'd be a chance Hedgy Jane Myers would end up, you know, north. She was running some fucking Save the Giraffes PSA campaign last I saw. Anyways, how'd the search for a last minute understudy go? Seeing as how this is hell, it probably didn't go so well. We got you an, an awesome replacement band, really. It's these, these uh, monks, they chant. And they can't move either, so yeah. Monks. Well, we don't know that exactly, but we do know that they'll be singing for you tonight. You're off the hook. Huh. I'm surprised. And it's hard to surprise someone who gets leeches put in her coffee every morning. Come on, walk me to the cab stand. I have to say, I thought this was going to be like baking cookies. You plan on making these perfect little Christmas trees and they come out looking like somebody's father issues. But you guys really pulled it off. And, uh, I'm a little embarrassed to say my elbows are sweating at the thought of meeting my old bandmates. Those bastards have gone on so long without me. Well, I mean, they did sound like jerks. Maybe set expectations to work reunion or even divorce counseling. It's just, we were like best friends, you know? And they did kind of screw me over, but I kind of screwed them, too. By, uh, hogging the attention? Yeah, well, that. And by embezzling album profits. But be that as it may, I just hope we can remember why we became friends in the first place. Last time I saw Bobby Francis, we got in a fight over what to name our tour van stuffed monkey mascot. I told him his name is Rico, or I'll see you in hell. <laughs> you think he'll remember? Milo, Bobby couldn't remember his daughter's name while we were on tour. No, he will not remember. Friendships that long are like a marriage. Sometimes you just want to boil a person's face off and shoot the EMTs as they come, but well, dying alone is just too scary to even entertain the alternative. Everyone dies alone. Even if you have 18 grandkids, can't take them with you. You're not dead until there's nobody left that remembers you. That's why everybody wants to be famous. Milo wanted to be famous. No, I didn't. Why would you say that? Uh, you know what? I don't know. Just popped into my head. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. There's a demonic saying. The longer in hell, the more you are you are. It means... Eh, who gives a fuck what it means? Let's just get out of here. So you followed Linda all the way back to the taxi rank, sadly for us, she will depart on her own and we'll meet her there in just a wee while. Even more sadly for us, Wormhorn appears again and I don't know, it's kind of entertaining, it does 
It's probably the only thing that gets quite tedious towards the end of the game where Wormhorn just comes and, you know, sips on your shit. Hey, uh, thanks a lot for this. Uh, just give the door gal my name. See you in there. Rock and roll. Awesome. awesome. We're we are awesome. awesome. Yeah, okay. So we should just go to Satan's then, right? Like, hey, what's up? Let's just, uh, let's drink you down. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, yeah. Let's just, like a band-aid. Quick and easy. Right off. Right off. Wait! Before you go, it's time for your review! What? Or psychological assessment, or bumblefeed personality quiz. You know, whatever you want to call it. First of all, you intentionally chose to be a drink mule for somebody named Linda, of all things. Instead of aiding that poor little demon who needed help apprehending a dangerous homo sapien. Either you thought this sounded more fun, or Lola likes just blindly following Milo around. Which, either way. I mean, getting a vodka soda for someone does sound simpler. Hey, so Linda seemed easier, okay? What's the problem with that? We're not down here to, to, to help demons catch people. What is this, an anime from the 80s? All right, all right, all right. So you needed to find a band to fill Linda's slot. Which saps did you enlist? Oh, wait, I was there, so I already know. It was the Chanters. Why the fuck did you pick these guys? You know the instant Ono sobers up, she's gonna realize you traded three-day-old coffee for curdled rat milk. I mean, have you heard their singing? I, I don't know if you have a hearing disability, but <laughs> they're not good. Hey, Ono made the deal herself, okay? I'm not gonna feel sorry that we swindled the, the demon that invented swindling or whatever. Uh, I guess we'll see if you can maintain your apathy when she circles the wagon back for a renegotiation. Okay, factoid time! Thought you might want to know what's going on in the land of the living. So, while you were busy accomplishing this very important mission, instead of, you know, getting your ass off the fucking couch and contributing to society in any sort of meaningful way, one Vlado Gavogic lost his hand in a factory farm accident in Lenawee County, Michigan. Due to lax regulations, his meat will be served along with the other 93,000 cows slaughtered today. <laughs> really? 3,856 people died. In their entire lives, only 47 non-consecutive hours of true happiness was felt among them. <laughs> How sad. Wormhorn. And, of course... Ah, uh, wait, sorry. Those are out of order. Wormhorn. <laughs> Lola won that dancing thing on her first try, you giant-ass dork. Who the hell is good at this stupid shit? Get a life! Get us out of here, Wormhorn. We need to get on with our night before we're stuck here forever. So? <sighs> Fine. Whatever. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you later. Invite, so yay. Why the long face? Personal demon dragging you down. Listen, just remember, those things are like car sickness. Just keep your eyes on the horizon, it'll go away on its own. And sometimes you just need to deal with it to get to the mall, you know? Anyways, did you get the invitation? We did, actually. Get the fuck out of here. A whole VIP cut the entire line invitation for an already free drink? What does she really want? Honestly, Sam, it's a long story. Long being relative to my patience for recaps. Hey, I don't need to hear your fucking story, Lola. You're 22 years old. A good story to you ends in like a, a golf cart getting stolen. Who cares? Anyways, I imagine you'll be wanting to go to Satan's now, right? Finish the game. I, I mean, whatever. Way. All right, your request is my, uh, my, my thing that you do when requested for something. Let's go. And back to Welcome Way we go to go into Saint's party and meet the big dog himself. Every man will have his 
favor day, but few will know about them. This will... This should be one of your favorite days, I think. A uh, camel hair better, at least, than bottomless fries Friday. A VIP invitation to Sane's house party, that's, uh... You guys are doing... You're doing well. You're doing good. I don't have any poppers or noisemakers. Day, I mean... We couldn't have done it without your help, Sam. You were the steed to our... to our gallant knights. Yeah, and a uh, word of advice, if you make it back topside, maybe don't talk like that at your first job interviews. Oh yeah, when we get back, we'll be like adults. Oh, a little nervous about rolling over from Miss and Mister to Ma'am and Sir? And, uh, depending on your income level, either having to read train schedules or carrying about the estate tax? No, it's... it's not... it's not leaving school so much as Milo and I have known each other forever. Yeah, like, genuinely forever. We got paired up in free school because we were the last picked in the buddy system. And while Milo stayed in town to help his mom in her magic shop. Lola's moving across the country to live with her dad. Sounds like you guys are just erupting with excitement over all the new opportunities afforded by your continued cellular reproduction. Yes, Absolutely. definitely. Absolutely. Without a doubt. So, completely switching topics. Satan's party, huh? Very exciting. Top shelf. Roman Coliseum, Yang Zoo on opium. Mother, don't look at these pictures. So, put away the Ouija boards and voodoo dolls, kids. Because anyone that'll be answering is too busy getting their nipples twisted. Why don't you take a break and join us? I'm not waiting in that line. Well, if we find an extra invite, we'll just, uh... I'm not exactly the partying type, kids. I drink alone. Or with one other person. I guess fair enough. All right, candleflies. Have fun. You know, enjoy yourselves. Thanks. And, uh, before you scamper off, two things, okay? One. Sam, sorry. Are you, are you on tonight? Are you? Where are you headed? Sixth circle. Lucifer didn't show up for the inspection last week. Now I gotta make sure the stone coffins are being heated properly. Like, I don't have enough poop to worry about. Wait, Satan didn't show up for work? Wider ganger, sweat cooker of infidels, this is Milo and Lola, recently deceased. Yeah, congratulations. I'm foreman down at the coffin mines in the city of Diz. And no, he didn't. Even though we had the appointment at 11, so he could sleep in. Anyways, can you help me out? I know it's out of the way. No, I'll give you a ride. Great, thanks. I'd swim, but the lava starts hurting if you're in it for too long. See you later, Sam. Or, uh, hopefully we, uh, won't? Uh, let's see how your time is with Luke first. Text me if you need a ride somewhere. Huh. I wonder what advice Sam was gonna have for us. Yeah, I'm wondering that too, actually. Actually, I'm, I'm wondering why you didn't think to ask. Hey, I did ask. And then I zoned out and started thinking about the Grey Ghost episode of Batman. Like, Batman goes to the actor's house who played Grey Ghost and, like, admonishes him for not being Grey Ghost? What a complete nut job! Like, I don't think Michael Keaton is literally, you know, swinging from light poles. And then the crazy part is the fucking actor then saves Batman's life when he just shows up on a roof in the costume. The entire thing is completely insane. So, uh, yeah. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, that. It's just, it's just really weird when you think about it. Implausible. The whole thing's just very, it's just very implausible. Wanna skip the hustle and bustle and head straight to Lucifer's? Satan's please. Alrighty, two customers, let's head up. Invitations, please? Certainly. I think you'll find our names in Will Call. My name is Milo. I'm with Linda Landon. 
the famous acid jazz instrumentalist and musical transformationalist, maybe you've... Next. And I'm, uh, Lola. We're both with the, uh, musical transformationalist. Okay, move along. There's party favors in back, but don't open his fridge. We did, we did it. it! I guess all that's left is for us to, uh, enter the party. Yes, entering the Lord of Darkness's party is what we are here to do, and what we will do. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're here for a thing, and we're gonna do the thing. Yes, exactly. And we'll be fine, so... After you. Um, this doesn't, this can't be right. I cannot believe, th th was this all a goddamn trick? I mean, I know we're in hell, but Sam seemed to be- <laughs> So again, brilliant, you've made it to Satan's party, but Wormhorn appears, and this is where Wormhorn really tries to get into Milo and Lola's skin by revealing personal, obviously things that happen throughout their life, and them getting bullied by their families, etc, etc. It's quite an interesting watch, actually. These little cutscenes and things that happen are very interesting. Even though I just said it was tedious a couple of minutes ago. But you just ignore that. And alive, Milo. Your old man sounds very, very serious. Okay, Sister Mary Worm, asshole. Ha ha. This is my old kitchen. Great, I get it. Oh, I'm so glad, thank you. Your memory was a little fuzzy. So I had to cobble parts of it together from Marshall Field's display set circa 19. Oh my god, where's the damn party, Wormhorn? You know, the whole reason that we're here? Just give it a minute, give it a minute, let me do this, it'll take a sec. Lights? No, the other lights. Golly gee, it's a regular old nuclear family with two and a half kids. Minus two of them. Now, when you hear the beep, we all say our names and that's it. Oh, fine. Wait, who cares about... Shh, 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 shh. Hey, you've reached G. Barbara. And I'm Marty the Magnificent. Stop. Say your real name. <laughs> Marty the Magnificent. When did you go back to that? How old were you? Like six. I wanted to be called Marty for like a... a Marty minute. Owen Duke for a week there. Uh, there was the summer of Charlie. Yeah, so what? You knew this already, Lola. Sorry, I forgot. I just... Well, we can laugh about it now. This is the seventh try. Oh, he's his mother's son. He's as flighty as she oh, is. You realize this kind of stuff is going to keep you from making friends, right? You have to be comfortable being yourself, not pretending to be something you're not. But Marty the Magnificent is who I want to be. And Lola's my friend. Lola's a girl. A girl can't be your friend. Do you understand the difference? And see. It is a complicated relationship, okay, Mary? What do you want from me? It wasn't some TV show version of whatever. There's nothing complicated about it, Milo. Your dad's a dick. It's not a... It is that complicated. He just wants me to be happy, and he's trying, okay? He's trying. This is all extremely obvious psychobabble bullshit, Wormhorn. So I don't see eye to eye with my father. That's like a rule hardwired into every animal's DNA. I think even hamsters get into arguments over who gets the last piece of chicken. Mm, maybe. Or maybe he regretted getting you in the divorce instead of his daughter. Because she's a proper lady, and you, Milo, are many things, but a proper man isn't one of them. Fuck. Oh, shut up, Wormhorn. Lola, where? I don't care if you're scared. We drove all this way because you wanted to see the carnival. Well, we're here now, and you're gonna hit the damn target. Throw the ball and dunk the clown. We're not leaving until you do. Dunk me, Milo. Dunk me. Throw the ball. Throw it and dunk me. Christ! Lean in! Move closer! Dad, will you just lay off? I'm trying. Don't embarrass your family in front of all these people! <laughs> Son, come on! This isn't how I taught you. Throw from the shoulder. Follow through. 
You know what? Screw this. I don't care what you think. I really don't. Ah. And screw you, Wormhorn. My dad, he's not the best. But he's not this total fucking monster you make him out to be. And also, give the guy a damn break. He works like a dog and doesn't speak English that well. Oh, you know, I was gonna try that, but it was super racist sounding. And, you know, <laughs> there are limits. Milo? Is that you? Lola, sweetie, your guy's in here. Milo, Jesus! Who are you talking to? I thought maybe I heard somebody else. Oh, uh, nobody important. Milo, oh god, I'm so sorry. I turned around and it was, uh, I saw a witch doing a keg stand and uh, I didn't know where you were. Are you doing okay? <sighs> no, it's, it's fine. I handled yeah, it. Yeah, you, uh, you look, you look good. Where's the booze? This party oh, has awesome. everything. They have a ceiling well, in take here. take it from me, Milo. Right, now we're finally out of that nightmare, now we can finally go and meet Satan himself, and he's... Well, he's nothing I expected, to be honest. He's got the big dog horns, but... I thought he was just going to be a, you know, big red guy, like in every, every single game and movie and TV show ever. You're going to meet up with Mercury Worm, right? I did meet up with Mercury Worm. I told Jane I fucked her brother, and she said she was glad I lost the baby. Hey, dick for brains. I'm trying to mac daddy on my home skilled here, and you accidentally touched me. That gives me legal party rights to pound you into indiscriminate ass. Hey, he was just trying to get by. Well, he should have tried harder. Uh, we're just, just looking for, uh, uh... Hey, so I couldn't remember if you folks wanted Dr. Tibble's Vicoco or Omen set of ale. So I just mixed them both together. <laughs> oh, hi, Hightower. You wouldn't be attempting to intimidate Messrs. Sangbong and Lola Wolf at my carousal, would you? Because that kind of behavior doesn't really structure well with the pack mentality I'm trying to delicately maintain. No, 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 no. You're angel of darkness. I was. Great. Here. I'll be out on the back patio. I got a terrific stock guy I want you to meet. He does look good, though, doesn't he? Very fashionable, I'll give him that. Looks real good. Uh, what do I look like? A dictionary? Okay, so first impressions. Tall, he knows our names, which I don't like. Also, he smells like a burning courthouse. So before we actually go and talk to Satan, who will be right here, don't go and talk to him yet. Keep going towards the right, and at the end there will be Satan's big dog. And he's a little cutie. You just watch him. Eventually. Oh, there he is, little boy. Oh, you, you, who's a good boy. But anyway, <laughs> just press hate to pet him. Oh, you little, oh, little red eyes and big yawn. Yeah, cute. I love dogs, by the way. I don't know if you noticed. But yeah, pet him. He'll talk. Achievement unlocks. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. <sighs> yeah, champ, what is it? You need something? Sorry to interrupt your little, uh, side conversation here, but can we... Can we talk to you about... Oh, the feels above people who know that at a party you're supposed to have a drink and enjoy yourselves. Wait, wait, you two are dry? Maybe Beelzebub can fetch you a drink. And himself a drink. I'll be honest, sick in America faints. Two more from the colonies. Cultural expats, certainly, but it's okay. We're all immigrants here. Are you having a good time, Milo and Lola? Um, how do you, like, already know our names? There has to be a million people filing in a day, right? Yeah, I mean, people who don't wash their hands alone would... I know everyone, hellbound or not. But don't think that makes you two rumping, jumping generals any less special. Hey, sorry to interrupt these two dorks, but your real friends are here. Chernobog. Uh, did he bring the Pine Barrens to swim? Because we're running dry and this thing's only like a third over. I didn't ask. Okay, Milo, Lola, walk with me a little. Or as the sailor told the bishop, now's the time to get extraordinarily drunk. Listen, Mr. Satan. You want to ask my permission to leave. And failing that, you want to challenge me to a drinking contest you've heard about, most probably from Sam. How far off am I? 
So, can we go? With respect, of course. Hey, I'm sure hey. some people like it. Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, uh, keep up the bad work. This whole thing was my idea, yet I can't take full credit. I didn't make the rules. I just created the escape clause for a soul every, you know, thousand years or so. We sing, we drink, we play a few games. It's more fun than doing your laundry, at least. Wait, and God, like, he must know about this, so he just doesn't, like, care? Oh, he cares. It has to make enough sense. I couldn't bring you back if you blew yourself up on the six o'clock news. But he also knows as well as anyone, if you let a little disobedience deflate the balloon a little, it won't one day just go and pop on you. So how does it work exactly? We just- Wait, my brother Asmodeus, this is like the eighth text tonight. It's a clip of someone falling downstairs while trying to carry a pumpkin. Eh, I'll just mark it as red. here can take a little bit more. <laughs> yes, sir! Can I have another? Just give me a second here. I don't want my buddies to ding-dong ditch me. Now, there are a few uh, sort of little jumps here just um, edited out. It's basically every time you end up Quitting or going back into the game, it puts you in a different position to where you were, but, you know, I tried making it so it doesn't look, you know, too obvious, or that it makes it look like I jumped ahead in the video or anything. You know I'm gonna make you go home and get it if you forgot. I've got a bottle of chert spit in my pocket, all right. I bless you, my son. Milo, Lola, meet Turnabal, Dark Minister of the Seventh Circle. Yeah, hi. Morrigan, the Black Fiend of the High Seas. Pleasure. Vitala, <laughs> the spirit of disease and intestinal issues. And nice to, you know, whatever. And Chad, from Kingston, Ontario. How's it going? Um, hi. Uh, hi. Pleasure to, you know, just to just be here, experiencing this. And just think, we haven't even done anything to you yet. game set up wait we're just well this will take two minutes your your darkliness we just want to oh, wait you're the two that are going to make a run at the big guy right do the drinking contest <laughs> what my last shit weighs more than both of you put together and she had just eaten three people so oh yeah I read about you on bicker hey we're stronger than we look all right you, you don't know why we're in hell we're scratch and sniff to you you don't know our, our, our layers yeah, we, uh, we could have been strangling bus drivers for kicks on the weekend. Children, look now. I am your humble servant, truly. I worshipped your pores while you were still in the womb. But you don't know what soup you're ordering here. Well, how do we prove we can do this? Who the fuck is texting me right... Oh, good gravy, it's Bezel still on me about those unholy reports. Whoa! What do you expect? The guy can't turn off. Polly was crawling up my butt too tonight, preaching about God knows what. Hmm. Actually, okay, I've developed a notion. Milo, Lola, you can help me out. You can help me out and prove you can handle our little, uh, test of endurance. Interested? Uh, sure, okay, well, what is it? Track down my brothers and sisters, the original monarchs. Apollon, Esmodius, Beelzebub, Onoskelis, the fallen angels, like me. And outdrink them first. This way, you'll be granting me a small favor. You'll be getting them temporarily off my behind, while also proving you can party with beings who view stars as rushlights. And until you do, I'll be playing gin rummy in the parlor. Uh, I feel like I'm being forced to take the PSATs all over again, but sure. If now, at this point, to. I accidentally ran all the way back to the left, 
thinking I could carry on, but you've actually got to go to the right, follow Satan and the rest. That's why they all disappeared very quickly, because I did balls that one up there. Just go into the right of the room, talk to Satan. This will be the sort of last bit of conversation you have with him. And then we can go ahead and get the Monarch Seal and a few other achievements along with it. So I hope you're enjoying the game so far, guys. Like I said, I know, as I said, it can be potentially a little bit slow sometimes with, with the talking. And sometimes you just think, All right, come on, I just want to get on with it. But like I said, with it being the voice acting is brilliant, the story, the, the everything's written brilliantly. So I hope you're enjoying it as much as I have been so far. Please say no. Um, how did we die anyway? Unfortunately, that's not my department. I uh, don't shepherd collections. But maybe my sister Polly can assist you with your query. I'll be seeing you. There was a lot to unpack there. Those friends of his were total cocks. Seriously, Chad? Like, what the hell was that? Whatever, let's not lose focus. How hard could it be to get two recommendations? I mean, I got five for my college applications, but uh, we have no idea where these monarchs are or how to find them. Oh, you know who would know? No fucking Sam. Let's call her cab and ask her about it. And now we can run all the way back to the left. Again, you can talk to those sort of witches if you want. Spin on their heads, which is awesome. Wait for Lola to catch up. And now we can finally go ahead, go back downstairs and go out. And we'll just basically be going back to where the taxi rank is. So taking the elevator down all the way to the first floor. And the first island we're going to be getting, uh, well the first Monarch Seal we'll be getting is Apollyon's. And she is on Little Rantalia, the island in the top right hand corner, as you will see again. Want to go all the way to the bottom or take the long way? Express, please. The full ride. You got it. Check your ankles, wallet chains, uh, purses. Okay. Yeah. Fornius already told me I don't think I can make it. Give me a break, Sam. That's you can make it. What the shit? Hey, what's going on? You guys going home? What happened? I'll see you later, Sam. Yep, see ya. We uh, we need to start finding some demons called the uh, the monarchs. I guess the monarchs. We said Satan said there were four of them. That we should find two and out drink them first because because actually I don't really I don't really know. I think he was just trying to get rid of us. Oh no, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, and uh... Apollyon? Yeah, Apollyon. Okay. Well... You already know Oh no, but she just went on vacation, so that one's no bueno. And Polly, she used to be a grand judge of the dead, but has since sort of retired. She's usually at the, uh, Sealed Knot. It's a demons only pub. Okay, what about the other one? Asmodeus, <laughs> Al's going through some shit. Some people have lost weekends. These guys haven't kind of a lost in a decade. But whenever you want to head out, just let me know. We will head. So again, obviously you'll need to be going to both islands anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. Um, I just picked Apollyon first, just because I can. Um, there's achievements tied to both islands anyway, so it's really up to you if you want to do whatever you want to do. But, you know, easier just to follow the video, I suppose, eh? <laughs> And sometimes they'd fight intergalactic, interdimensional beings from other planes of existence trying to alter reality. 
Wait, what? Yeah, they left that part out of most Bibles, but anyways. One day they got sick of being happiness fluffers for the big I am and decided they deserve some sort of uh, profit sharing. So they revolted, led by Satan, of course. He was called Morningstar back then. But the Archangels, God's SEAL Team 6, had the equivalent of frigging nukes with God's holy radiation. And the Great War for the Stars lasted as long as a hamburger with a, uh, with a, uh, like a, like a really big fat person. Because the, because the hamburger would get eaten fast. God sounds like kind of a jerk, if I can say that here. Hey, you can say whatever the heck fire you want about God now. It's one of the benefits of already being damned. But don't judge him too harshly. People will kill the world before they give up air conditioning. And you think he's gonna share creation? No way. Ooh, Polyon and Morningstar, they go way back. I mean, they all go way back. Him and the monarchs, the seraphim, but... You know, when God was still scheming geometry, they were all just kids. They'd be making dolls out of baryonic matter, fighting with them. It was a real brother-sister thing, you know? After the fall, and the first guy died, she... She still believed in the rule book, you know? For a time, anyway. So Lucifer let her be the judge of the dead, deciding who would go where, and what punishment they'd receive. Uh, she's one of the more respected angels in hell, probably. Who was the first guy? Was it Adam? Was it Adam? Was it Adam? Ugh, everybody always asks, have you met Adam? Is he nice or a dick? Does he have Jesus abs? The asshole didn't even have a name, guys. He was barely bipedal, for Christ's sake. He would poop in his hand and throw it at monkeys. Which, I mean, it's funny. Don't get me wrong, but still. Oh, that's, uh, disappointing. Anyways, after her side judge, Yama, turned himself into a dog and moved to Mexico, Polly kind of lost her spirit for being a cosmic umpire. She teaches Empyrean Law at Nistron now. Sometimes she'll do a little pro bono uh, lawyering, but... Wait, lawyering? Does that mean we can get like a like like a retrial or something? Oh no, no 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 no, not not for people like you who obviously belong here. But uh, sometimes, yeah, for fringe cases, we'll have public trials in the square. Okay, little Rantalia, here we are. One of Hell's oldest districts, founded uh, founded right after the war. Lots of relics, landmarks, and Arby's just opened up on the other side of town. And the Karma Magistratus, or the Courts of Hell, are down the, uh, down the road here. Sort of like your Supreme Court. Except, you know, actually supreme. A judicial system in Hell seems, uh, somewhat out of place. What kind of cases would you even see? We're already in Hell. Well, probably like, probably like, uh, like nuns who stole bread for their dying, but... Racist no, cuts? it's for like boys who kill their abusive fathers or women who kill their mother-in-laws. Polly usually hangs out in the sealed knot. The first bar ever in hell. Demons only. Demons only? So how how do we get in? Uh, you don't. Not unless you can come out with an overly complicated scheme involving identity switching. <laughs> Not likely. So then there's a demon lawyer named Andy and a guy called Roberto. Now you'll have to help out. Um, You'll have to basically help Roberto in a trial later on, whether you win or lose, it doesn't really matter. But you can help him here if you want, or if you don't want to, you can just carry on. For all mass murderers, nostalgia humpers, there's a just you, Roberto. Like I said, Mr. Andy, I did not commit the crimes I am accused of. My name's Androlfus, Roberto. I'm your court-ordered attorney, remember? And as soon as my paralegal shows up, we're going to trial and you're probably going to burn, so... Save the my talking parakeet made me do a defense till then, okay? Ciao, ragazzi, please. Could you, can you help me? Is he talking to us? You. I'm talking to the two of you. Do not be afraid. Sure. What, what do you need? Bless you, bless you. Uh, perhaps uh, you will indulge me by performing me a small favor. Uh, could you just, uh, just straighten my hair a little? Mi madre, God rest her soul, would never want me to look so disheveled. As you can see, I am bound, so I cannot reach my head. Maybe. Are you really innocent, as you say? I am. I am framed by a sorcery. A tip from Roberto. Never hire a warlock to house-sit your cat. 
Okay. And if you do, consider cleaning your tub so we cannot use hair samples to create by witchcraft an embryonic homunculus that feasts on the living in your own craven image. Good, good tip. Please, by helping my hair, it may be the last piece of affection I am allowed before eternal damnation. Your, your madre would be proud, or at least less, slightly less ashamed. Grazie, grazie. Thank you ever so much. May you meet souls as nice as you on your journey through Hades. I had an interesting uh, thought. You think after you're dead, people look through your browsing history for laughs? The seal, nah. So obviously, this is the bar you need to go in, but being two humans, trying to get into a demon-only bar, it's going to be impossible. So you'll be refused entry, and basically what we'll need to do is get a disguise just like this. Um, these human demon guys are just going to sort of get a big old coat now, as you'll see. And it's easy enough to get one. We are like extremely important people. And we're in good time, so I'm sure no one will- There is pleasure in the pathless woods, friends. Know what that means. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here, yes. Um, excuse me, uh, fellow, fellow demon. Make way for Coleco Magnavox, the demon of, uh, foot hands. Oh, right this way, sir. Okay, so, I have another interesting thought, but I want you to promise that you won't make fun of me if it's dumb. They say there's a fine line between madness and genius. Do you really think of me as someone who's looking to humiliate you at every turn? You can only pants someone on the jungle gym so many times, Lola, but look. What? Think about it. How many tattered curtains and loose skulls have you seen while we've been down here? That was like Barney the Clown's big top Halloween shop, but less emotionally scarring. So, so, all we need to do is put together a costume, slash disguise, and then we come back here and stroll right past this uppity moron. So coming all the way to the right then, we'll need to go upstairs and to the right a little bit until we find a demon selling disgusting candy called Lutzenfrau. Lutzenfrau? Lutzenfrau? Yeah, anyway, you, you'll notice because she's the only one selling candy anyway. And all we got to do, do to get the coat is eat one of her bits of candy. Job done. She gives it to us. I wish getting clothes was that easy in real life. Although then again, if you're going to eat, eat a, you know, say a homeless person's sweets, you don't really want a homeless person's clothes, do you? You'd rather help the guy out rather than take his clothes, eh? Well, you did seem a little, like, I, I, I don't know the word I'm looking for here. Like, uh... Ah, oh, jeez, I need like a thesaurus. Uh, did I sound happy for you? Cause I am. I'm happy as a damn clam you're staying behind to build breakaway furniture for magician wrestlers. Yeah, you really sound clam happy right now. I mean, you're just... It's just weird, cause you're the one that's moving. Uh, I'm staying in town. What the hell does that mean? Well, it means if anyone should feel, like, betrayed or whatever, it's me. Not that either of us do. Or would. Ever. I'm just living my life, Milo. Or living my truth as my aunt would say, mostly when she wanted to wear her bra as a belt. Okay, I don't even know why I brought it up. It was just your, your tone back there. Well, neither do I. We got a lawyer demon to outsaw, so get fucking frosty. No, it's one cup mashed up nose weevil, a half cup body butter, three eggs. What kind of eggs? Uh, soft shell turtles if they're in season, a little flour. Hateful flower. Uh-huh. And what about... And then we skin fry some unicorns and toss them in oil. Sounds great. I'll take one. Here you go. I regret having that. They're still working out the recipe. Oh, drunk children! Drunk children, please! Take some treats from Treat Cart. 
I'm Lutzelfrau, and my charming Germanic witch recipes will surely soak up all that alcohol. We're not drunk. Then pretend, okay? The rebel here is more discerning than Lutzelfrau expected. They don't serve lava blasters here, so everyone still has their taste buds. Okay, well, slow down here a minute then. We're, uh, we're, you know, we're intelligent people, and intelligent people require some measure of... God, you selfish little pricks! You'll shut down the borders if a kumquat slips past Mexico, but you have to barter with my shit. Just tell Lutzelfrau what you want, or be gone quickly. Your dress, it's so... I've just never seen this fabric before. And it's so hard to go thrift store shopping in hell without a purse. Ah, what an eye you have. The fabric is a mesh sewn from the hair of children born during an eclipse. You can only acquire it through mazoku rituals or Thursday night specials at Kohl's. For this, you'll need to sell your love for Lutzelfrau's treats good, my dear. Give me, uh, just give me your least disgusting piece of crap. Uh, but not, uh, not literal poop? Please. Right. Good catch. Oh, so you like Lutzelfrau's Ebola-bellied rats, do you, my dear? Yeah, dog. This is a fucking bomb. Oh. Hey, that idiot tried that weird witch's candy. They love it! Holy shit! Let's go, guys! Come on! Let's get some candy, yeah! Oh, yes, come on! There's no need to shove. I have so many sauces for all my diseased meats! Okay, now, the dress, if you please. Give us the... the dress, you... oh, God. Mm. Why was I born? Okay, follow Lutzelfrau. And smile, dipshits, you're on camera, all right? So no samples while I'm gone. So, you're sharing, I presume? Who's gonna be the head, and who's gonna be the tail? Oh, oh yeah, you're like way <laughs> taller, aren't you? Weight and good taste dictate I get on top. Hope you're cool with that? Yeah, of course I'm cool with it. Yeah, I was embarrassed to be the top cheerleader on the pyramid in junior high. Well, I was embarrassed for you for other closely related reasons, but yeah. Ta-da! I'll be honest, I wouldn't let you buy Lutzelfrau a drink. Those mother... Hell is really filled with cockknockers, you know? You wouldn't... You wouldn't think it, but there it is. Okay, whoa. Stop wiggling your shoulders so much, it's... Your skull is pressed up against my junk. I'm sorry, it's... I don't want to say you're heavy. So then after all that, you've got the coat. Now you can just head back downstairs to the left and get inside the bar. And then we'll be having a little chat with Napoleon and the gang. You're light as a feather, a hummingbird feather. Just take it easy. Just stop humping my neck. I'm humping your neck. Stop rubbing your crotch on my neck. How do you think I can stay on? I'm... Okay, just forget it. Tally-ho, tally, tally forth. Let's just get to the bar, okay? Let's get to Polly. We're meeting Apollyon in there, Footman. You can stow the human and carry on. I'll <clears throat> have to check with the owner. Then check with him. I've got less than an hour till trial. Ciao, ragazzo. Another beautiful day in hell. You seem like a well-to-do demon. Very put together. Upscale like a camel. Perhaps you know Andrelfus. Andy? He is my handler. Shut your pie hole, human, before I demon all over your goddamn thyroid. Oh, my apologies. Scusi. Uh, but you, you sound very familiar. Coincidence. Okay. 
Okay, you guys are all set. She's in the back. You move, walk straight to the kitchen, and get into the flower drawer. Of course, of course. Good evening, madam. Right this way. Good man. Oh, I I'm sorry, sir. I thought you were a woman at first. <sighs> Get ready to see some wild shit. Let's try not to draw any more attention to ourselves than we need to. Okay, but don't talk anymore. Demon's guts can't speak, I don't think. We're gonna need a refill and uh, something to fish out the teeth. What are you, saving up for college? Huh? There's not enough liquor in my liquor. Gerald. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you give Father Barleycorn here a break, all right? Okay, fine. Sorry, Barley. Didn't know you didn't know how to make a drink. It's all right, Jerry. Thank you, Judge Apollyon. <laughs> Holy shit, the, uh, the monarch, uh, Apollyon, she's right there, I can, I can see her. Okay, well, it's it's hard to really walk uh, steadily. Just take it slow and don't draw attention to yourself, ourselves. So the third bar we're in then, just do what you've done before. Go and take a sample out of every drink and then go and talk to well, the guys just at the table on the left-hand well, side there. What can I get you? you can make some jokes or you can do, no, you know, whatever you want. Why do you ask? Because you sound like you got a baby stuck in your throat with that nasally human voice. It's hail flu season, so... I just want to know if I should put on a mask. Fuck off and mind your business. Your job is to get me drunk, not tell me I need to take my daily vitamins. Daily vitamins? <laughs> that sounds like something two humans disguised as one gangly demon would say. <laughs> not that that would ever happen. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that would be a sight. So your profile says you work in the ninth circle? I swore I'd never date anyone further than five. Well, your profile says you're over six feet, and I swore I'd never date liars. Next. What do you have, you obvious demonic entity, you? That, um, the blue devil one. I'll take another, another, uh, Catherine wheel. Come back in, like, an hour. I have to find the wooden spokes first. Next drinker, please. Hey, look, another demon. What a shocker. I'll, um, I'll get a grand exhibitionist. Got it. A grand exhibitionist. Dildos? My vagina keeps eating them, but you know how that is. I'm sorry, Stacy, but I'm not that kind of friend. Can we not talk about your papaya? We just spent the last 15 minutes talking about your work, orniest wrencher of buttholes, so you can give me a break. Want another? You're a demon, so you probably do. I'll take one hearse chaser? Yeah, hearse chaser. Hearse chaser? You got it. Hi, uh, mind, mind if we... Smell that? Smells like a, a pancreas, right? Like a human's gut line. Lola, let's not... I don't think I can do this, Lola. Did you say something? Could have sworn I heard something. I'm pretty sure the cigar fumes must be getting to you. Might want to think about going outside, getting some fresh air. Fresh air? You mean outside? That shit's half chlorine, half skunk, half dying turtle vomit. 
Actually, you know what, guys? I don't think it's the cigars. My Mephistopheles beard this place is just going to dung beetles, isn't it? Shit, in its heyday, I'd be having horse hay shoved up my penis hole by now. But today, I'm stuck debating the rotten odors of humanity with you jackanapes. Yeah, and we don't fox trot as much as we used to either. I apologize on behalf of my friend here. He's usually not this, um, splenetic. That's not a real word. Ill-tempered, spiteful, it... by thesaurus. You buy it, thesaurus. Um, not to completely change subjects, but, uh, Apollyon, what are you reading over there? Looking at pictures of succulents? That's what I'm normally on my, uh, my phone for. Do I know you? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, actually, you, uh, you don't. Well, that's what bars are for, aren't they? Meeting, uh, interesting things, such as yourself, in a demon's downtime. All right, I'm gonna reload. Anybody want another? Um, one grand exhibitionist for me. Please. Yeah, yeah, okay, got it. I'll be back. Well, I guess introductions are in order. I'm a Drellfus, defense attorney. Friends call me Andy. That's Delbert, my paralegal. No one calls him anything. And I'm Sister Mary Wormhorn, new lead counsel for the Who Gives a Shit firm of I'm Making This Up. How's everyone doing? Oh, uh, good. And how are you doing, stranger? Did anyone... No one caught this fellow's name yet, right? Uh, no. We were just getting to it. Um... Scuttlebutt. Scuttlebutt. The really? Scuttlebutt? Major General Scuttlebutt? Wait, this is a real person? Major. It's a pleasure to meet you. While you were serving on the northern flanks, I was fighting the Imperial Eagle in Heaven's Sixth Sphere. Remind me again, how was the combat in the Fixed Stars? Oh, I love a good war story. Yes, General, please regale us. You know, Apollyon, with all due respect, I really don't like to talk about my deeply felt psychological and emotional scars stemming from a war against our creator. Sure you understand. God, the jackhole ahead of me could decide between a bitter or an ale. There was a rumor going around that he'd become a pathetic vagrant, pooping himself and sleeping outside. Well, take it from me, General Scuttlebutt. I'm very glad to know that that's obviously not the case. Your General Major Scuttlebutt? Uh, pleasure, didn't know. So anyway, Lori stayed out all hours with Satan and Caligula last night. <laughs> oh no. So of course the monster didn't show up for her shift this morning. So guess who had to butcher 300 humans by hand? Gerald, seriously? Pick your spots, man. We're trying to relax. You keep bringing up work. I'm sorry. We can't all be fancy lawyers. Some of us have real jobs. Don't we all? I think our new friend probably knows something about that. Where are you working now, Major Scuttlebutt? I was just about to ask the same question. Oh, where do I work? You know, I, uh, I had to call out sick this morning because of an eye problem. I couldn't see myself working today. <laughs> All right, you got me. That was, oh, that was an okay one. Okay, cats and kittens. Trials in a few. In the courtyard, yes? I'll trust you all to finish your drinks on time. Yes, ma'am. All right. I'll be in back if anyone needs anything. Ooh, I gotta go, uh, destroy the bathroom. But maybe I'll catch up with you guys later. Wait, guys, Polly isn't our... <clears throat> uh, you must think you're the cock of the walk, don't you? Well, you might be the cock of the walk, but I'm the chalk of the damn talk. <sighs> Whatever. Bye. It's been strange. Polly's been really busy with something lately, something secretive. But, uh, I'm sorry, are, are we keeping you? Your wonky eye was kind of following Polly for a moment there. Yeah, that's really interesting, guys, but I gotta... So we'll need to walk all the way to the right to find Apollyon, but you'll find a little surprise in the room to the right first. There's two rooms to the right, the first one has something... Well, you'll just have to see it to believe it. And imagine seeing it without pixelations and uncensored. That would, that would bleed the eyeballs internally forever. Let's just find Apollyon and outdrink the judge. Yeah, I think she went in back. Let's uh, take a look. Whoa, this. We took a turn somewhere, cause ugh, gross guys. What, what's going on? I can't. I can't see. Why does it smell like my grandmother's basement? Man, thank you. Lying is an accursed vice. Oh, that was rough. Jesus. 
I mean, hey, I know there's guys and no, even no. girls out there who are into that stuff, and <laughs> that's fine. But Pornhub has got all they know. Pornhub knows they've got all of what you watch. You disgust me. <laughs> but anyway, sorry. But yeah, we, we're supposed to be talking to Apollyon right here. And in the end, basically, she, she'll know you're too human. She'll sort of uh, snap you out of it. And then we have to go and do a trial. Just follow exactly what I do on screen. You don't really have to. It doesn't matter again if you win or lose the trial. Because you'll need to do a drinking contest with her anyway. So... Me, a demon, into two separate adorable human beings. You were wrong before. We do know each other. Know of each other, at least. You're Lola and Milo, heirs presumptive to the Amber Throne, the king and queen of alcohol, by the grace of Lucifer and his partying realms and puking territories. You should be very proud to have made it this far. I drink! But this is as far as you go. Uh, Apollyon. Please, we, we, uh... Okay, look, Your Your Honor, we just want your seal, okay? We we won't tell anyone what, what we saw in here, or, or anywhere in hell. <laughs> For that yes, we'll, we'll forget all about all this stuff that is permanently burned into my retinas. I could not care any less how many podcasts you do when you get back, child. Montaigne, in his wisdom, put only stubbornness below deceit in his ranking of manner defenses. I personally disagree, but I can see his point. Even so, I have lied tonight and will lie more to annihilate a particularly virulent strain of stubbornness from someone very near and dear to me. And you two are going to help me do it. Uh, um... How? Andy. Yes, Your Honor. I need you to observe and assist our latest appointee to the public defender's <laughs> office. Uh, uh, seriously? Yes. Um, okay. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, what? That, what? That will be all, Andrea Alphys. Thank you. Oh, what's happening? You are now part of Roberta Spaghetti's defense team, Major Scuttlebutt. Meow. And as part of that defense team, you are going to ensure that he receives a guilty verdict. Huh? You want us to take a dive? In so many words, for which you'll be granted the opportunity to outdrink me for my seal. If you win, of course. Now, how does that sound? Wait a dang minute. We still gotta outdrink you for the seal? Even if, if if we do send a potentially innocent man to eternal damnation? You must respect the rules of the game, child, even though you may not respect well. the game itself. Oh, what a crock. The trial is starting. It's your choice. Either ensure Roberto Spaghetti doesn't leave the Nine Circles, or maybe try your luck with another monarch. If you haven't already burned those bridges, that is. Fuck it, we're in. And Ready? <sighs> I suppose as ready as we're going to be. Were you, uh, brought up to speed? They'll learn on the go. It's fine. They're professionals. Meow. Professional is what they are. Hey, if you say so. All ready? Hands and feet inside the cart at all times. Please place your belongings in the pouch in your seat. And see you on the other side, kids. You, uh, you want to get in on this? Well, but wasn't that another sight for sore eyes? There's too many humping demons in this bloody place. <laughs> Ladies and gentle demons, the tribunal is now in session. For the prosecution with a record of 800,609 convictions and counting, the toxic tongue flatterer, the legal eagle, the hapus capus, your very own butter and egg man, Malamar. Oh, yeah! Woo -hoo! Yeah, yeah! Thank you, thank you. Now, my record speaks for itself. But I'd like to add that that achievement has been achieved. Not because I have sought convictions, but because at every turn I have sought justice. <laughs> <laughs> and for the defense, uh, slight change of plans, but no matter. For the defense, by special appointment, Andreolfus and General Major Scuttlebutt. Huh? <laughs> I need a drink. Yeah. Yes! Here, here! Where's the barman? Mixologist. Oh, brother. Spare me your ill-gotten sense of self-worth. And just get me something with gin in it, will you? And for you, uh, madam... Give me a... a morning murdrum. That sounds promising, right? 
Certainly, ma'am. Place your bets with me, gentlemen. Right over here. Down is your job. Okie dokie, everyone. Everyone's got their bets in, got their drinks. Okay. Let's get these trials going. I got a Massachusetts manor to possess in like two sunrises. All rise. The dishonorable Judge Tinneville is presiding. Hi, everyone. Hi, Judge Tinnevillis. Yeah, hi, cheers. What's the first, uh, you know, whatever? Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti. Oh, shit, this is ours. I mean, the one Polly once thrown. The defendant is accused of going on a murderous rampage at a carnival and then lighting a carousel on fire. Why, another open and shut case. Start blunting the axes. No, no, you, you, your honor. We know to a certainty that a warlock stole my client's identity using hair samples to create a twisted, rancorous version of Roberto to get back at the carnival that fired him. But why would a carnival fire a warlock, Your Honor? He was hired as a fortune teller, and customers complained that their futures were too depressing. But that's beside the point. The point of fact is that my client... Hey, Andy, stop defending this guy. We... Apollyon wants to pull a raging bull. Take a dive, get a guilty verdict. Huh. She didn't say anything about that to me. And we're on, like, five separate group text threads. Okay, I think we've heard just about enough of this. It's clear the defense is just trying to sway the judge's sympathy by appearing incompetent. Absolutely not, Your Honor. In fact, I hated Roberto more than any of you when I first met him. I thought he was guilty, I did, I'll admit it. I judged him for his accent, for his candor, for his kindness that I perceived as symptoms of an oncoming fever. But I was wrong. I have in my possession a signed confession from the warlock himself that will completely exonerate Mr. Spaghetti from all wrongdoing. Wait, do we, do we really? E yes, whoever said that. The warlock died in a warlocking accident just five minutes ago, and he plea bargained for a lesser sentence to get Roberto off. Our client didn't do anything wrong. Andy, Polly told me she wants us to lose. It's really important to us and her. There must be a reason for it. I don't care. Do you know how rare it is to find an actually virtuous soul? Everyone in hell says they don't deserve their lot. I, everyone. I've been doing this a long time, and I'm not passing up the opportunity to save someone who actually means it. Counsel, do you have this confession or don't you? Are we really letting this happen, Lola? Apollyon's not gonna give us the seal if we let him walk. But Roberto's a good guy. Counsel? Yes, I, uh, I have it right here on my phone. It's, uh, I took a picture of it with an app that makes, it turns your face into a rabbit. It got banned for being racist for some reason, but uh, I downloaded it before it got taken off the store. Any other evidence? Never mind, shot clock expired. Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti, the court of karma magistratus finds you. Guilty. <laughs> oh dear. Mr. Spaghetti is to be immediately remanded for processing in the morning. Like I said, at the minute it doesn't really matter, but to get the two achievements I spoke of earlier, if you want to play as Milo after they fight, you'll have to see Roberto hanged. If you want to get to Lola, you have to see him uh, not be hanged, basically. But again, I've got a different video coming up in which it shows the answers to help you uh, as Lola win the thing. Otherwise, like you said, now we've got to go to the schoolyard strangler on first and is it for the second time, and that is where we'll be getting another achievement for playing the last perfect, um, the last sort of uh, the perfect game, if you will. We've done beer pong, we've done dancing, and now it'll be the uh, perfect drinking game we've got to get. Again, that might take a few tries, but that'll be fine. I didn't have to see his face when he... Anyway, guys and gals, this is the end of part one. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope it's helped you out so far. And I hope that you've been enjoying it just as much as I have. Um, there's only two parts of this video. Another, I think, two and a half hour video left to go. So, which of course includes all three endings. You'll, I'll be showing you how to get in one playthrough instead of three. So again, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope it helps. And I shall see you in part two. Thank you for your understanding. Uh, guess we should go to the Strangler if we want her, uh, her seal.